Do I have goods here? I don't think I do. Was I gonna trade with them? I don't think they have anything that I want. Okay, we're good. Uh, they're nice and simple. They just throw screw pumps, really. I haven't dabbled with mist generators at all. Uh, I need to do that. I also need to finish these these pieces and fix stuff. So, um, I think I just need to build stairs up so they can um, fix the wall. And then we're going to go and build a roof, I think. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Joker Boy. Oh, wait. If I build it there, it's going to be weird. Oh, maybe it doesn't work because we need, like, things on the side, don't we? Is that why it doesn't work? We might do. No, but it should attach to the walls. I think we just can't reach it. All right. Sorry. Um... We'll figure, well, we'll figure this out and see if we, if we can make it work. Um, it's not that my brain is like extra squirrely today necessarily. It's like... It's hard to explain how my brain is working today. Also, I realized the trade depot is in the way here to build this. Well, that's a problem. Hmm, how am I going to do it? I could just remove the door and then and then build a staircase. Build this and then just fix it. Or can I put a floor over the door? Is that possible? I haven't actually tried to do that yet. I can just build a floor over the door. Oh, that might work actually. That might that might just work. Um yeah, I don't know. It's just I have a really hard time focusing today. That's my thing today. It's not that I'm like hyper or like that I need to move. It's just my brain is just like not focusing today. No, 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 no. It's totally all right. It's like it's a totally valid question. Totally valid question. But yeah, it's for me right now. What's happening is just... Um, yeah, my brain is just not wanting to focus. It wants to be in that state where it just kind of free floats. And your thoughts kind of just drift from one thing to the other. Does this game stress your rig as much as Rimworld can at times? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Um, most of the, cal like the pathing calculation and all that sort of stuff is all still also done um via one core so uh, yes yes it can like fps death um because of you know what's happening in your game like of, like fps death of your fort because of what's going on in game is totally a thing like i had a necromancer um walking to my uh, corpse stockpile accidentally and uh, I had to uh, reload that that game to an earlier save file and make it make sure that the necromancer avoided pathing into my um, corpse stockpile because it just I yeah <laughs> the uh, the FPS just went nope <laughs> at that point it was quite funny actually yeah an FPS ne death due to necro so yeah it is it is can be as bad. But uh, this version is already a lot better than the um, ASCII free version um, in terms of like FPS and whatnot and stability and, and, and all of that sort of stuff. So, yeah, but definitely, definitely can happen. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, for sure. Uh, all right, that one. Good, good, good. All right, sorry, I'm just, uh, I think we need more bedrooms. So, yeah, the queue is also open. So if you want to jump in the queue to get a dwarf, um, I think we still have names to give away. Thank you, Timberwolf. And has hello, hello, hi, Rogokalf. Good morning. <laughs> oh, hi, Abernathy. Uh, my yeah, it's whoa. Today, today is definitely your day. 
but that's okay. We'll we'll just work through it. I am on coffee number three, so hopefully they'll start working sooner rather than later. We'll see. Not you again. Lurk on, need to work. Sounds good. Have a good lurk. Hey, that actually worked. Cool. I did. They did try to build that staircase here still, but just building the the floor on top of the on top of those. You know what I mean. <laughs> building the floor on top of the door, then make them build this. Now what I need to do is build a roof over this. And also engrave this with um, gaps. Uh, so we can shoot through it. Wait, no, I am high enough, right? Are they doing it? Did that, that did not actually change. Why did that actually not change there? That was odd. I clicked it like twice and it was just like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna actually select that. Why would I? Mm, okay. Then we need a temporary staircase. Hi, Stupsman. Hello, Lord. We need a stempor tempor st temporary. Yep, temporary. Sure. Temporary staircase. Uh, not there, though. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nope, no, I said not there. <laughs> So we can get to the top, so we can close it off with a floor, aka a roof. Right there. Not out of gold bars. How about we don't make that out of gold bars? That could be a cool idea, you know, to not make that out of gold bars. <laughs> Just a suggestion, game. Just a suggestion. Oh yeah, no access to, yeah, 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 because we haven't built the that staircase yet. All right, uh, it looks shiny, gold, yes, yeah. Hi, Omri, Hi. you made another author yesterday. Nice, nice. And one in space, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one will have emotes eventually, soon to him. Oh, on that note, did, did they actually... Nope, still haven't approved the other emote. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Okay, they're busy engraving this and then hopefully they'll start properly properly working on the staircase here as well yep i think that person is cool we finished the rim world the 1k tutorial i used the order slaughter feature for animals today so i have to match you to guinea pigs yeah absolutely like the order slaughter feature i actually kind of wish Dorford had the order slaughter feature from rim world um it's really cool. Well, we're making, um, we're making, um, we should be making gold statues, actually. I'm pretty sure we're making gold statues. Let me actually, yeah, we're smelting native gold ore. That's rock salt statues. Did I stop that? Maybe I stopped it. Maybe, or maybe it stopped itself, but there you go. Gold statue. If the amount of gold statues is less than 10, make more. Ooh, petition! Uh, the humble creed has many worshippers, and it now requires a temple and a priest. Alright. Um, let's see. How good is your wealth? See, we already have some gold statues. How good is the wealth? And here, probably quite crap. Yeah not even a temple yet so this is quite crap right now can you make a sort of shape of a silly butt um not quite in a shape of a silly butt but you can direct them to make certain images like you could be like um go here add new task furniture gold uh, statue and then you go here and then you go specify a new image creature otter a giant otter uh, action or relationship is being flayed mutilated shots is laughing 
<laughs> is laughing. The giant otter is laughing. Uh, yeah, there we go. Done. Let's make a giant, uh, 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 um, a gold statue of a giant otter laughing. Hey, Galron. Good morning. Hello, hello. Because that definitely works. It needs spikes. No, I no, they don't, they don't actually put. I don't think you can make statues that manage with spikes. I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can make a statue that uh, specify a new image. Uh, a river otter. See, there's the giant otters, river otters, sea otters. There's a river otter. Actual relationship. <laughs> so you can't make it menace with spikes. But you can make it be it's smeared out into a spiral. <laughs> that is so horrible. What? <laughs> Please. It's cringing. <laughs> it's cringing. Um, objects. Uh... I don't know. I don't think there's a butt in here. No, there's no butts. Shape. Uh. There's an image of a river otter and a wave. The uh, river otter is cringing. Wait, I have to probably. Uh, action, okay. X is my own Y. Crin cringing. <laughs> oh, you can't do it. X is massacring Y. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is that is in the game. Yeah. Uh, wait, well, we could we could do this. No, not Gizzard Stone. No, that's a shape. Object. Stone. Stones. Action is admiring the river otter is admiring the stones done hi mark hello hello hey bolt sexy dude good morning <laughs> yeah so you can you can you can totally make your own custom statues which is really really cool no queue oh no there is you should be oh wait no there is i uh there it, well i haven't actually opened it yet <clears throat> i i uh emptied it but i didn't open it what if there's an internal, external statue making tool? No, but I mean, you can look in, you can just queue it up like that. Thanks, Mark. And then see it, I suppose. Alright, we need a, we need a butcher. Some more water buffaloes. Because they are starting to multiply. Uh, that's, a, that's a bit much. There we go. Hey, thanks for the follow and good morning. Welcome. Otter Burger. No! Why why would you do that? We came to party Hi Guru! And Aradis! How's it going? Hello! Thank you so much for the raid, Guru! Good morning! Ooh, Factorio, nice! Thanks so much for the raid! You're going good. That's good to hear. Good morning, everybody. Fifth day with Factorio. Nice. That sounds awesome. I'm glad you're having a good time with it. Thank you all so much for coming on over, Raiders. I really appreciate it. I'm FG. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet ya. I play a wide variety of uh, mostly indie games on this channel, and I've been kind of on a, on a Dwarf Fortress bender recently, and... Um, yeah, thank you all so much for coming on over. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. And, uh, yeah. Hi. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Fun and science. Yes. First playthrough of Factorio single player. Nice. The bugs are getting fun. See, I have learned that I, I like my factory automation games without hostile creatures. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm... Glad you're enjoying it. Squirrels! 
squirrels. Let's go, let's go capture some Mastanis, shall we? There we go. We'll put, we'll put some, we'll put some animal traps down and capture some squirrel, squ squirrel. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for coming on over. I really, really appreciate it. Um, we're just having fun in our little design fort here. Um, if you've got any questions about our fort, please feel free to ask. Uh, and yeah, thank you all so much for coming on over. Yeah, same, Nolan. You know what makes me really sad, Nolan? That they're adding combat to um, Dyson Sphere program. It's optional, but still, it's like, no, I just want to build my factory. Hello, Nixumia. Good morning. Hello, hello. Yeah, I just want to build my factory. And that's it. I assume the squirrels are small enough to be trapped in these traps. I don't actually know. We'll see. Cool. Look, look, chat. We're building a roof. We're building a roof on this. The only thing is we still need to block these doors somehow. What? More? No. Why more migrants? I swear. An emu is fighting? Wait, we have emus all of a sudden? Oh, we're hunting the emus. Oh, boy. We should really not be hunting emus. <laughs> You dropped the affiliate. Oh, oh, did you, Guru? Why would you do that? Okay, you also banned the exports of short sorts again. Yep, all right, not surprised. I know, right, Scrap King? I know, I know. That's why I'm like, why are we attacking the emus? But apparently we are. Ah, I see. I hope that's working out for you, Guru. I don't know if the... I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I have to bait it with food. No, fish. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if the squirrels are, like, if this is... I guess we'll bait it with meat and see. I don't know. I don't know if squirrels are, like, small enough to fit in these traps. That's true. That's true. I I uh, said a lot of uh, food to be collected on the uh, on the surface, so everybody is like just grabbing stuff right now. Okay. And now that we have this set up, I'm gonna also smooth this. Uh, and then we need to make more bedrooms. I think I assigned all these over here when I played on... Um... No, I didn't assign these ones. Because some of these don't have beds. That's why. All right, let's put beds in here. And then cabinets as well. Gotta have them cabinets. Let's calmly have a purpose. Um, my purpose is to do things that I haven't done yet in the game, basically. Because I'm still a very new Dwarf Fortress player. I have played less than 100 hours. So a lot of it is just learning things, experimenting things. Si yeah, per personal science, really, in the end. Yeah, just learning how to play the game. And uh, in-depth mechanics a bit more and that sort of stuff. Like, for example, I built my first well this time around, which is over here. So we have, we have an aquifer here, a light aquifer that's leaking water. And we have a floodgate here. And then we made, a, we made a, an area for the well. So now we have access to clean water, which is good for a hospital and for dwarven children and for washing and that sort of stuff. And um, if our well, pond, collection water, whatever is empty, we just let in fresh water from the aquifer. It's great. You have uh, almost 400 hours on the Steam version, but 90% of that is just you leaving the game running. Is this a vault? No, 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 it's not a vault. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a, um, it's just a well. 
It's just a access to fresh water inside the fort, away from the surface, which is actually really good because the surface, um, we have surface water, but the water is permanently frozen. <gasps> I've caught a live cardinal. Your trap was robbed of the prepared water buffalo spleen, and we trapped the cardinal. Okay. All right, cool. Baths. I haven't built a bath, but I have taught my um, I have taught my dwarves to swim. Hi, awesome. Yeah, the purpose was to rid the world of plum wine. That too. Yeah, so I haven't made a bath, Scrap King, but uh, I taught them. I made a swimming pool and taught them how to swim. Yeah. Hey, no problem, Guru. No problem. Sleep well. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming on over. My dwarves can swim. Not not these dwarves. This wasn't a different. Uh, this wasn't a different fort. But yeah, we made a. We made a. We taught them how to swim. Uh, you just ended up drowning them. Yeah, we made a little swimming pool to teach them how to swim. Uh, with a manual pump, uh, like with a pump that we operated manually, and it worked out really, really well, actually. Um. Uh, and then they, they started learning how to swim. It's great. Actually, wait. No, I put this all on that side. So I need a... I can't just willy-nilly assign it. I did them all on the inside there. Okay. But I have a similar idea. So you just put a bunch of soap in a stock by nearby for them to clean themselves. Ah. Plus mist generators. Yeah, I haven't done any mist generation. I, I might want to tackle that this time as well. Because I haven't, I haven't played around with that at all yet. The throughput of manual pumps is something ludicrously high. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we we basically just turned the pump on, left it on for a couple of seconds, and then turned it off immediately again. And that put enough water in that they, they started drowning, but then the fl water flo flowed out again. And then the water lowered enough that it wasn't on seven, so it was like a four to five. So they... They could still breathe, and they were starting to learn how to swim. Oh, I see, Apollyon. I see, I see, I see. So it was probably... It, 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 it was effective. Not very refined, but it was effective. Yeah, it was very effective. Uh, in the end. And then that fort died because I didn't have any defenses, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Now we don't really have the need to do that in this fort because there is literally no flowing water. So I will probably not do it in this fort. But uh, yeah, it was a fun experiment in that fort because in that fort I did have a moat as well. Uh, and we, we had problems with our dwarves falling into the moat sometimes. So we had to teach them how to swim. Of course. I mean, you know, that's that's just how that goes, right? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, what have you caught? A live toad and a squid squirrel! Yay! We're catching some animals. Cool. Zalaria has withdrawn from society. Water buffalo calf has been found dead, starved to death. Why is it down there? You're trying to make a bit generator was a disaster. Are you struggling to fight more flux stone? Oh no. I need to learn how to make that. I don't know how to make that. Why was the water buffalo calf? Oh my lord. Probably because they assign more stuff. I also need to like slaughter more animals. I really do. I have a live toad! Tame it at the vermis catcher shop. Oh, I need to make that. Because I wanna I wanna just experiment with that clearly fg is making a zoo as you can tell i'm clearly making a zoo cats oh we're okay on cats i think in terms of like um them exploding into like cat explosion wise no we should be okay um i haven't actually checked I haven't actually checked um, in a while if we've got like male cats in now, but be up until recently we only ever had female cats. Let's see. Now nah, we only have female cats and dogs. 
We have all the guinea pigs, though. Yeah, we have lots of guinea pigs. And lots of water buffaloes that we need to, like, deal with. But, um, yeah, cats and, and doggos, um, we only have females somehow. They've all only arrived with female cats and dogs, so we're okay in that regard. They do! I know, I know, Shrubsman. I, I didn't assign them last time before, so yeah. But uh, the water buffalo breeding is 100% on purpose. It's just to get a meat and leather supply, because I can't fish, so this way we have meat and uh, vegetables and fruit to eat. You figure out what's what's making these two really angry there. You're already ca uh, collecting everything, so you're fine. That's good. Yeah, because some of these are starting to starve to death, which means we don't have enough stuff in it. You have a child who's an expert biter and striker from watching his dad. Oh, that's hilarious. I love it. Love it. That's great. There we go. Put the bed in there. Oh, why did I not? There we go. Gotta put the cabinets in. Now that that is done, we can at least assign these also as bedrooms. Good. I don't know if I have enough bedrooms. I probably do not. I probably do not. All right, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. There's a carpenter. We have a lot of people that need names. Uh, bald dude and sexy. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. My voice this morning sounds so rough, Chad. I apologize. My allergies are so bad. I've already taken stuff today, but it's so bad. It's so, so, so bad. Uh, Batgu, right? That's a, that's a lovely name. Otsuniwa, good morning. Hello, hello. That's why I sound so rough, because my allergies are kicking my butt. It's so warm here, so, like, I have no respite from my uh, mold allergies. Uh, Wamp, Wampa Stomp, Stomping. All right, Wampa Stomping. You're in, you're a clothier. Nice. Uh, we've got a stone crafter that needs a name. Otter Breaker. <laughs> Aww. Let's see who else. A furnace operator who's making steel. A uh, sausage honor. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we'll name more people in just a moment. Did we make the gold statues yet? We did. But we haven't gotten to making the the otter uh, gold statues yet. No, not the rock salt statue there. Gold statue, there we go, because I need to turn this into a temple. Uh, you're having your daylight light time, are you fighting so hard not to just fall asleep? Oh, uh, I could so fall asleep right now, actually. But it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I'll get through it. I'm sure chat will wake me up. Before I go, go. Sorry. Um, yeah. I just wait for them to actually deliver the statues. The poor kids. We're forcing the poor kids to haul gold statues. That's pretty evil. Finan! Holy crap. Holy crap. 45 moons of utterly shenanigans. Raute FG birthday. Raute mandatory. So proud mandatory dwarfs. Raute trench coat. Raute trench coat. Definitely mandatory dwarfs. Yeah. Finan, thank you so much for 45 months. That's almost four years. That's incredible. That is in freaking credible. Thank you so much. Well, Gary the Gamorite is now our priest. Thank you so much for the continued support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the continued support. Do we have an otter in a trench coat? Well, FG is three otters in a trench coat. Uh, I've got a chipmunk. Hi, call Mr. Sai. Hello, hello. The priesthood is ready to be recognized. This will satisfy the agreement. I have done so. Right, so we're good here now? Yep. 
it's not a it's not a hype we don't have a you know it's not a temple complex so no high priest but we do have a the sacred crest gary the gamma red oh the laria has created okolimic omtal imast a water buffalo leather backpack she claims it as a personal treasure no no backpacks oh no they're just gonna make a mess with it the reindeer bull child is by oh wait does it say child it does say child in the overview but it does mean a calf what are you fighting i don't even know what it's fighting are you fighting a goo i don't know what's fighting hi stage dives and high fives hello hello good morning hello hello how you doing all right let's learn about this object shall we good morning giggles hello hello how are you doing voice chucks the liberation of influence sure your biometrics taken yesterday fingers to get your work permit suit oh that's exciting that's exciting uh backpacks if you if you give your military backpacks they're bugged um because they will put food and stuff in them and then when they're off military training uh they will just drop the backpacks in their rooms and all the food spills out and it will rot yeah it's a bit annoying they'll tie because of the cat oh i'm sorry i'm so tired today and i'm not tired i'm just it's, it's an today's an adhd day like my brain is just not wanting to work yeah it's a pretty annoying bug hi roll good to see you hello hello how are you doing today 28k though holy moly that's ridiculous whoa that's bonkers this is a water buffalo leather backpack. All craft store strippers of the highest quality. It is studded with gold and encircled with bands of water buffalo leather and gold. This object is adorned with hanging rings of cave spider silk and menaces with spikes of gold. On the item is an image of voice check the liberation of influence, the water buffalo leather backpack and pyrite. On the item is an image of dwarves and rock salt. On the item is an image of Saxul wiped Arthen, the dwarf in gold. Cool, you made an image of the backpack on the backpack itself before the backpack was finished. I have no idea how you keep doing that, but that is um uh impressive. Also spikes, yes, always spikes. As a red, you can access that leaving food in barracks to rot is a real mistake often made by soldiers. I mean, yeah, it does sound realistic, but it's also a pain in the behind to deal with in this game. Because, yeah, then you get miasma everywhere and then everybody goes like, Oh my god, this sucks. I hate my life. And you're just like, well, you if you just wouldn't put the food right there, you know, you'd be, it'd be so much better. But yeah, no but yeah no how meta it is very meta yeah all right cool bedrooms i don't know if this is enough bedrooms yet but we'll work on it uh yep 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 we're butchering lots of stuff i need a vermin tamers workshop where the heck is that even under Oh, vermin catches shop. Yeah, right. Whoa, this is so big. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. Har, 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 har. I guess I'll put it over here. I'll put it over here. I've never built this. It's so huge. Dwarf memory is good, but short. We gotta work, you gotta work. And forget the sandwich. <laughs> well, no, that's the thing is, while they're working, it's fine. It's a problem when, they, when they're off duty. Yeah, they forget it well, as soon as they're off duty. And that's the problem. Yep. Uh, this is a film for this last time. Yeah. It is. The Shreism Explosion Emulation already happened. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hi, Scaff! And Raiders. Hello. How's it going? Thank you so much. Good morning. Scav, thank you so much for the raid. How are you today? Thank you so much for coming on over. I really appreciate how goes the Rim World. We're still stuck yeah, playing Dwarf Fortress because I really like it. 
Um, yeah. Hi, everybody. It's good to have you. Good morning, Pumu. Hello, hello. Um, yeah. Uh, the fort is still going. We've so far had one forest titan and four were creatures in terms of attacks. We did also breach the cavern last time, actually, so we might get some forgotten beasts soon, TM. All right, add new task. Catch, tame a small animal. <gasps> so we will just tame the animals that are in our traps, right? <sighs> oh my God, let's go. This is exciting. <laughs> You're a sucker for collie builders? Me too, me too. I hope, I hope you had a good stream. And thank you so much for coming on over. I do really appreciate it. Oh no, why oh no? I think what you meant to say is, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's definitely what you meant to say. So, yeah, we actually breached the caverns, which are, like, really far down. Like, more? No. That's a different noise. What is that alert for? Oh, Crafts Dwarf Guild has been established. Okay, that was the alert for. I was like, what's, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, why is that not working? That should be working. That's odd. Um, so we found the caverns. They're really far down. I mean, they do extend up quite far, but they're like really small and they're like off up over here and there's nothing here. Really odd, really odd caverns. Um, so we have them here and they have a roof um, over on top of this. So, uh, we made an entrance and that sort of stuff and we trapped stuff here and whatnot and now we're doing some cavern farming too and we have more traps here so it's a pretty secure access in terms of stuff obviously um still can get you know forgotten beasts coming through here so i need to actually deal with that in a way um i need to build a bridge that we can then um you know raise if need be uh doesn't actually matter which way it goes up i just need to be able to to close it up there we go and then obviously we need to build a lever which i'll build i think i'll build the lever up here so because we have m loads more people here than down below obviously duh um Cause that's really far down. That's like minus 70 down. That's really, really, really far down. So we'll put that here and we'll just link it. Cause luckily you can just do that in Dwarf Fort. Um, so that is, that's really good. Oh, it's snowing. Nice. We still haven't finished our glass roof. We're not even halfway done. We're not even halfway done. This is hilarious. I'm gonna get an, yeah. You dug from zero to minus 100 in this fort without finding caverns. Wow. Those are some really deep caverns then. Holy crap. That's crazy. That is real crazy. Oh yeah, I built, I built this in the wrong spot. I need to actually move that. Is that supposed to be? There. Oh yes, the second lever close by that needs that does something bad. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm just gonna put down another ashery. Petitions. The company of keys has many members and now requires a guild hall, a crafts, a dwarf. Guild. All right. Let's get that set up then. Before I forget. Um, accept. Uh, guild hall. Where are they? Raft. Crafts. All right, there we go. Where's drinking industry, industry when you want to jam out in a dwarven manner? I know, right? I know. So rude. 
give drink in industry. The problem is that doesn't happen very often in our tavern because we don't actually get visitors. That was a rock salt table. I don't want a rock salt table in here. No, that's borax. Which one is it? That one? That one, cancel. Yeah. But yeah, so so our our uh, fort doesn't actually have um what's the word chat? Uh we're in the middle of no we're in the middle of nowhere on an island, so we don't get visitors. We get migrants and a caravan from the mountain homes, but that's it. And that is it. And then this is open to citizens and long-term residents. Salt rock table has a leak. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all of this that this this pink color, all of that is rock salt. So not this light one, but these this darker pink, that's all rock salt. <laughs> so uh, there you go. <laughs> is this the otter statue no that looks like a hedgehog still haven't made the otter statue roots okay. you got a sudden need for crisps now just lick the table instead wasm it's fine it's fine spin out of rock salt just lick the table instead it's great are we good now? Two point, yeah. Guild Hall. All right, we've done it. The Guild Hall agreement with the Company of Keys has been satisfied. Oh, very nice. Is this a statue of a hedgehog? No, it's a giant porcupine. Actually, plural, apparently. This is a gold statue of giant porcupines. The item is an image of giant porcupines in gold. All right. Sure. Sounds good. Don't mind me. One, two, three, four, five more people more names exactly <laughs> uh okay door for door door war for i see i see what you're doing here uh do warfing tono all right do what do war that makes it so hard makes it so hard to read <laughs> uh and pronounce but okay uh, let's see a fishery worker well you're not gonna learn you're not gonna do any fishing sleepy bean i think we have sleepy bean and cpccp now or sleepy p or something like that uh a fish dissector uh flamethrower good morning also stone otter all right there we go have a breached the caverns yes i do i did oh yeah true i suppose we could fish down there that's true yeah, we breached the caverns. They were like down on like minus 100 is when we hit them or something stupid like that. Uh, Rasputin. But yeah, they're here. And they're really nice because they have like this giant area that's all covered. So I have actually like a really safe farming area. It's really cool. I really like it. All right. Also, link the lever to that bridge. Thank you. So we're safe from things. All right, I'm just scrolling through this list. There's a farmer that needs a name. Pro streamer. I am a pro streamer. Thank you, Mr. Joker boy. Uh, agreed. <laughs> totally pro. All right, and then the last one is Dorf was taken for now. Which I think we might already have, but okay go dwarf was taken mm, all right uh, let's see fish dissector bunk so uh i'm putting my fish pe my, my my fisher people in the military <laughs> uh broken space bar can go as well and they can and they can learn 
Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. And you can learn something proper. I do need to actually see though if uh, how the um words how their outfits are looking. Yeah, we haven't made my see you already grabbed that. Yeah. So is that because I haven't actually started making that yet? I think I haven't actually. I have not. We have steel. Yeah, we're making steel weapons and steel crossbows, but I haven't actually started making armor yet. So that's of course a problem. All right, steel breastplate, steel bucklers, steel. Cause we're doing steel. Hi, space monkey. We are doing steel. Uh. Um, Greaves, Steel Helm, Steel Boots, oh, is it low boots? Yeah, we, our civilization doesn't know how to do high boots, so low boots it is. Uh, 500 gram bags of wine, nice. What else is there? So we've got greaves, shoes, uh, chest plates, helmets. Did I do? Did I do gauntlets yet? Breastplate, blocker, greaves, helm, low root gauntlet. All right, good. Hi, Karthus. You also have wine gums? <gasps> Share wine gums. <laughs> Share. Sharing is caring. Don't do steel shields. Wood works just as well in a lighter. Oh, really? I did not know that makes a difference. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Babuckler. We're making babucklers. All right, wooden bucklers then. Thank you. See, so like intricate things like that, I don't know yet. The material only affects bashing with them. Ah. Oh, they were on sale because winter holiday packings. Best kind of sweets, honestly. If you can get them uh, on discount because uh, holiday branding. Firesmith, hello, good morning. How's it going? All right, cool. So we've got that going. We're still hunting emus. Make a clear glass box. Actually, apparently, supposedly has been completed. Well, that's exciting. Has it though? Eh, not really, but. I will get this entire place covered eventually. Eventually, mark my words. <laughs> Not that it needs to be glass. I just want it to be glass because I'm a silly butt. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hi, Cap. Is the artist was made into spirals. Yeah, I know, right? Falion, thank you so much for gifting us up to Karthus. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Um, <laughs> so, this is supposed to be an underground. Um, grazing area for my animals because right now my animals are still all on the surface so this is we made it too deep so uh, trees can grow there and then you put a so if you open up a, a pit like this and then put a roof over it it will always count as outside and if you make it too deep trees will grow down there as well so we have underground trees growing um so it's basically a greenhouse pasture right but uh being the silly butt that i am i decided we were going to do the roof because it's a greenhouse out of glass, which takes ages. Yeah. Hi, Order Elegance. Good to see ya. Do we need one to leave one tile open? Um, I think you could just put a grate in. 
to keep it open but i don't know actually we'll have to see so and if you're wondering what this blue stuff is this is all plum wine because for some reason it snows plum wine in my fort even though we're not in a mirthful biome but it snows plum wine so all of my animals are literally covered in plum wine everywhere and then as soon as it gets warmer uh they track it everywhere it's real bad and <laughs> that's why i also need to enclose them so we can finally start cleaning their pasture so we can clean the animals as well though the animals themselves are not drinking it because they're just covered in it so it's like they're marinated from the outside yeah hi marcus hi valos hello hello maybe this is where the wine guns come from yes please take it there's there's just plum wine everywhere it's ridiculous It's utterly redonkulous. So, have we done the thing yet, by the way? <gasps> oh my lord, chat, we have tame toads and squirrels and cardinals and chipmunks. They are totally available as pets. Go get them, boys and girls and everybody else. Go get them, heck yeah. <laughs> Just random critters, I love it. Love it. Hi, Lass, good morning. I love it. That's great. Where are we still mining? Oh. Oh. That, that's, that, okay. Th this is, this is already kind of. Holy crap. Also, look at the amount of freaking spider. Holy What the? <laughs> there are so many spider webs down here. Holy crap. Hi, Cookie Quantum. Hello, hello. So far. What the? This entire air. No wonder we're finding all of the gems. Cause Jesus Christ. That's so much spider silk. Jesus. <laughs> That's so much. But yeah, so they're not actually find striking it. They're just finding it, trying to harvest stuff. Uh, that's why. Kiki spider silk? Nah, it's fine. Uh, it's with the name of a type of alcohol and covered in cabinal wax. Object menaces with the thread of a tire jaw. Nice. Nice. Hey, have fun. Hello. Good to see you. Good morning. Nice. GG. That's a good one. Uh, Karthus. Well done. Well done. Switch player. Why pause? It's just broken. It's just broken. Don't question it. Um, they're doing something to the servers or something in Europe and they just, it just breaks all the time. I get I get error two thousand like ten times a day at least. It's really annoying. Yeah, it's just it's just Twitch chat or oh, Twitch being broken. It's all fine games so Mama Spider wakes up. Well, I only there are only cave spiders out at the moment, and ravens. Besides that, nothing else. Really, it would be cool if you could filter this to just show you dwarfs, because I don't need to know that like wild animals died because I hunted them. <laughs> oh gosh all right how many bedrooms do i actually have now let's let's do the do the cheeky thing to check 167 beds hmm do i have this many family members probably not eh i would assume i probably don't also apparently I gotta put those on there. This one is very interesting. It looks really efficient, but also very cool. Thank you. It's not efficient. It really isn't efficient. Like the, you know, to get back to the bedrooms back here is very far. But thank you. 
this is a bit more efficient because you have the workshops here and then the storage below. So that makes it a bit more efficient here, but it, it overall is not super efficient. But um, yeah, that was not my goal anyways. So that's all it's good. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. That is totally a-okay. Okay, they're still harvesting the plum helmets down here. <laughs> and I assume the... You wish it were Friday. Well, one more day, but yeah, same. Holy moly. So much. Same. Milk stray stuff, process plants, shear. Wait, where was the thingy then? Collect webs. Yeah, they're just going to be so busy. There's going to be just spider webs everywhere. It's not my birthday. Uh, it's Friday for you. Is it? Oh, yeah, you said you have tomorrow off. Oh, I'm jealous. I did. Well, hmm. No. I dabbled very briefly in like 2013. But, um. I. 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 No. Yeah. No. Basically, no. <laughs> basically no friday will be technically your tuesday so today is your s no today is your monday uh it's your friday today too because barry has a holiday tomorrow so you get a day off oh ew ew gross the forgotten beast usan has come it is a towering blob composed of vomit It has three long hanging tails and it has a bloated body. Beware its poisonous sting. Ew! Gross! Okay, you don't look that gross, though. So, <laughs> Usan, the forgotten beast. Usan. <laughs> so I assume it can't even see. It's quick to tire, weak, and totally clumsy. So I assume, okay, it says poisonous sting, right? But I assume because it made out of vomit, it's gonna be pretty easy to, pretty easy to, to kill it, I would assume. Right? Because vomit, so we should be okay in dealing with it, I hope. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. That should only take a few hits. Also very slow. Yeah, wow. For a forgotten beast, it's really slow. Uh, the smoke spirit and spirit away. It's like that. Yeah, but it's worse because it's all vomit. Also, hi, Yino Guns. Hello, hello. <laughs> Unleash a storm of sawdust at it. Yeah. Hey, wait, what the? Oh, is it? Oh, it went somewhere where I hadn't been yet, so I didn't see. I couldn't see it anymore. Got it. I think that was one hit. I think that was one hit. Yeah. Uh, do I have against the storm cards? I did get them. Yeah. Professor Rock seems to have been having issues or at least false positives. On my channel or somewhere else? It's a Dan. Jesus, gotcha. Wow, that was like just immediately dead. Uh, who's the for lucky forgotten beast sire? Uh, let's see. Ew! Gross! The hammer dwarf bites the forgotten beast in the body, fracturing it. The hammer dwarf latches on firmly. Why would you bite? A forgotten beast made out of vomit. Why? <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh. The ex dwarf also bit it. They all bit it. All of them bit it! Why? Why? 
It's never really I feel like it's never really clear. All right, so but we can we can check who did it cuz it would show up in their in their kill list, right? So uh let's see. Uh nope, not you. Uh Ingus, all right. Let's check you if it was you. Uh, if it got 1% smaller with each bite. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, you do actually have a name. Okay. That's, was it you? Nope. Broken spacebar. It may have been broken. Wait, what is your actual dwarven name, though? Udil. None of them? Yeah, but it doesn't show up as a kill list, like, by any of them. That's so odd. I mean, I suppose if you bit it and it just disintegrated it? I don't know. That's so strange. Hmm. Very strange. Yeah, it lives on inside the dwarves. I guess so, yeah. The beast vomited and vomited all of itself. Yeah, I don't know. That's really odd, but oh well. That is gross. That is just gross. Just gross. Sorry, I'm just uh, getting some more of these animals because we have a lot of them so we need to be careful that we don't like kill our own fort just because of the amount of animals that we have that will be not good what a sort of would be nice yeah that would be nice that's true but oh well It is what it is. I don't need to do to my cats. I can't play Banosh. Because all of them are female and you can only uh, geld male uh, animals in a dwarf fort. And all my cats are female, so there's no need and it's also not possible. We have only female dogs and only female cats, so. It solves the problem, correct? It does, yes. It does very much solve the problem, indeed. With this, I think we have enough beds. Because we do have some people, like, shacking up together and some families and stuff. But we should have enough. Yeah, they're still all, like, finding stuff down here. Yeah, yeah, they are. While right, walking around, just collecting the spider webs. Holy, like, look at the amount of, like, this entire area is just covered in cave spider silk web. That's ridiculous. Look at it! It's full! What the? Life finds a way. Yeah, that's not how it works, though. Hey, Dark Holly Constantine, good to see ya. Yeah, we're gonna get so much silk. We can actually probably start making silk clothing instead of cloth at this point. Uh, we can probably start uh, doing that. 
because we'll have so much stuff. To be fair, that's not a bad thing. Diet clothing is got here. I haven't start. I haven't started uh, dabbling in diet stuff yet. I have to admit. I guess that's next tier after that. Mm, we're almost through with it. Uh, don't need shoes. We make leather shoes. Hi, OMG, I love steak. Hello, hello. And then... went too far there we go okay now we just need to set it all up and then we're good to go do i need to specify i guess maybe later on i need to specify to use it all to make it all die to die it all i suppose but we'll see how's it going omg i love steak also yes dwarfs 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 dwarfy dwarfs That's that. You good? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Alright, you're training. Nice. How does the equipment look like now? Yeah, we need to we need to get started on it. I guess we can update it. And then do the same thing here. At least they all have weapons already. Hi Zur. I know it is it is relaxing. It's 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 chill to watch, isn't it? And there's always something going on, and there's always something to work on. It's great. I'm also really enjoying it. There we go. And then, oh, that tree. That tree is a bit suspiciously... Uh, like, these trees are, like, super, like, yeah. They're growing very efficiently. You like the music? The music is great. The music is great. They did a fantastic job with the soundtrack. <clears throat> Just imagine a huge ball of dwarfs stuck together by sp spider silk clothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're burnt out on Dwarf Ward? Is that what you mean? What are you... Usan's left tail vomit. Oh my god, did that? Oh my god, it did. The beast just disintegrated into vomit. So it wasn't killed, it just turned into vomit. That <laughs> the. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, clean up on aisle five. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. And now someone has to mop it up. Yeah. Our poor children are mopping it up. Actually. Wait, what? There we go. I want to clean this up a little bit. Poor children. And then this one. And then up here as well. I <laughs> kept and gifted to the elves. Uh, what? The beast? The beast is already dead. And um, no, I don't get any... I don't actually get any elven caravans here where I am. I'm on a little island. I can show you. Um, just give me a moment. I'll show you where we are in the world. And uh, we don't... We only get the caravan from the mountain homes. And we get no visitors either because of that. So uh, we're here. This is us on the little island up here. So yeah, we don't really get anything. 
<laughs> Except for dwarves. Because, uh, you know, the elves, I guess, would have to, I don't know, make boats out of wood to come over. But it's a peaceful li life. Eh, not really. Not really. Uh, we've had one forest titan, four were creatures, and one forgotten beast so far. The wolf on the island, yeah. Well, it's it does it's not really that we want a dwarf only island. It's more of a we just want a quiet life, you know. Goblin migration, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Tunnel under the ocean. I've heard that that's possible. Yeah. Uh, hi, Zion. It's going. It's going all right. We just defeated a forgotten beast made out of vomit. So yeah, it's um. It's going. You have soup? Ooh, sausage soup. Uh, 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 tame the animals that we have. The kiwi. The kiwi cock is finding. Um, what? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's fine. Oh, I need to set this. I don't think I set this. Sieges. Forbid used ammo during sieges. There we go. So then just shoot and then never collect their arrows ever again because that would be heckin' annoying. Annoying? Annoying, apparently. Annoying. A live flying squirrel. Me fail English? That's impossible. Yeah, I would never. Okay, they're taming at this, and then we have these available as pets. We have some toads, squirrels, cardinals, chipmunks, all available as pets. Mm -hmm. The butt annoying. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure, yep. All right, so you're just smoothing stuff now. Good, good, good. Hi, fire. Hello, hello. How are you today? Good to see you. Oh, shoot. Why are these barrels? Yeah, the barrels shouldn't be forbidden. I think I hit the max. Uh, I touched them accidentally. Am I going to let Lex do my Sandrock multiplayer buddy? Uh, Lex doesn't actually have the game. And I've played it multiplayer before with c community members. We play it with Apollyon and Cucumper. A Cucumper. And Kazot. Actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. They've moved the barrels. Because that was silly. I suppose we could engrave a slab for the uh, forgotten beast out of vomit. We uh, made out of vomit. We did that for the forest titan. Mm, where are you? Probably down here somewhere. Usan. There we go. You excited to see how the multiplayer has changed? Yeah, no, same actually. It's gonna be interesting. A vomit demon statue? <laughs> I don't know if I want to make a statue out of it. But we can ins uh, we can engrave a slab. I haven't made any decisions. Because, um, so, as much as, like, Sandrock is fun, it really isn't doing well as in terms of content. So, I don't know, uh, to be quite honest, uh, when I'll play it again. I might wait until full release, because... For some reason, people were really interested in, like, the Porsche, like, early access updates throughout its development, but people really don't seem to care about Sandrock. Was the monster the Incredible Hulk? Yes, I think so. That sounds about right. The Incredible Hulk. You made a dread memorial to a son. 
What if it's not as good? No, it's good. It's not bad. It's really, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know, people don't care as much for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. This is a memor memorial to Usan. This is a well crafted jet memorial to Usan. Uh, the slab reads in memory of Usan went missing in the year 263. <laughs> missing, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, I still like it. And I put I liked it enough to put it on like the list, but I don't know. Porsche was was different. Porsche just hit me different for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, missing. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Also, high squirtly spooch. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it did that for the Forest Titan as well, because the uh, the Forest Titan was named Kovest Bobuknudar Ethram, and it says the same thing. Um, went missing in the year two sixty. Slayer of the dwarf Neil Trumpet friends. Uh, Usan. Usan? Well, Usan was a forgotten beast made out of vomit and it died after we killed it. But it technically died by being disintegrated into, uh, into, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, it just disintegrated into vomit. Yeah, so that happened. <laughs> A rainbow vomit? I don't think so. I don't think uh, it was a uh, rainbow uh, vomit. No, the fortress is very stinky. It might very well be, yeah. Oh, saving. There's there's so much cave spider silk down here. This is ridiculous. Well, you know what? It's good. It's good. The problem is my weaver's going to be busy just collecting the silk all the time and not actually weaving it cuz they're just going to collect it all cuz there's so much and it's like never ending. The forger still thinks of sick because, well, the thing is, we're not getting drunk on the plum wine. We're all just covered in plum wine. <laughs> uh... Silk for the Silk God. Hi, hi, AG. How's it going? Good to see you. Happy New Year. I hope you're doing well. Oh, oh, who's died? A cat. And the herbalist, Halcyon. Well, so it is the first of Granite early spring. So both of these probably were just or most likely were just age-related deaths rather than anything nefarious going on because dwarves tend to die. When they die, when it's their time, they die first. Um, in the first season, like that. No vampire yet. Uh, we had a couple try to migrate into our fort. We just kicked them out. Hey, Mythic Dragon. Hello, Loy. You spoke once about asking about a giant you caught. Got a random gift a week later. The giant was killed by a human caravan as you're putting in the fighting pit. <laughs> but then the elves declared war so the pit has plenty of friends. That sounds amazing, Mythic Dragon. And enjoy. Enjoy the emotes. And the ad reviewing. Thanks for stopping by again. Appreciate it. All right, how are we looking now? I eh, still haven't really grabbed anything. But then the question is, oh, oh God, I clicked the stock button. Uh, we're making shirts, giant earthworm leather shirt. Well, armor, that's not really what I'm looking for, though, because this is just clothes. So 
So I guess we haven't really started making steel yet. Are we actually starting? Did we start to make steel yet? No, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we're making iron pig iron steel. No, we are doing that. Maybe I just need to crank that up, probably. Elves are fun to fight. Nice. So we're gonna we're gonna increase the numbers here. Nope. And then make There we go make more and then we can hopefully use that i have to finally get the armor going i do need to deconstruct this and move this but oh well what is that order there business bronze animal trap hey did i click that accident i must have clicked that accidentally Like to make a bismuth bronze. Flashing metal ballista arrow. I never set that up. I swear. Also that one. Why would I make it out of bismuth bronze? You bought a new monitor just before Christmas. Amazon, we thought you'd like another new monitor. Oh, is that what they're suggesting to you? Yeah. Amazon is not very smart. It's like, hey, you bought this. Do you want more of it? It's Yeah. Silly. Very silly. For some reason, that's just what they do. All right, cool. let's get those two two jobs canceled out of that list because that's just silly. And I assume they're just, yeah, they're just walking through here more. At least it's not a hot tub, which is what they've been suggesting for months. Oh, goodness. All right, we're still hunting emus. Goodness me. Yeah, there's a lot of emus. I guess we live in Australia, chat. I guess we're in Australia. Literally for... Uh, in Australia. I suppose. Okay, you're just making crafts. Lovely. Alright, let's check these bedrooms, shall we? Uh, use closest material. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Oops, boop. Okay, they all have doors. That one needs a door. Alright, cool. And then beds. Let's go. With this, we then should, in theory, have enough bedrooms. Once they all have done their thing. What have you banned? Crowns. Yeah, you like crowns and short swords. Hi, Zero Fan. Good to see you. Sounds good, Goo. You could really use a hot tub. Yeah. Would be nice to chill in one. Or rather, I, I guess opposite of chill. <laughs> Soak in one, I guess, is the better word. That would be nice, indeed. <sighs> right now, don't have space for one. Same. Have I cleaned a hot tub? No. Because I've never owned one, so luckily no. FG hot tub stream. Oh god, no. Good grief, no. Hot bath would be nice. I can have hot bath, because I do have a bathtub. Just don't have a hot tub. God, how to ruin my channel in two seconds flat. Make a hot tub stream. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. That would be so... Oh my lord. She said it. I don't want to soak in one, yeah. Not be on stream in one. Absolutely not. If the garden the size of a postage, uh, postage stamp. Yeah, same. Same. Can you make hot tubs for dwarves? Apparently you can make a bath. 
but I don't know how that would work. You always want an apartment with a bathtub. Now you want one with a shower. You just haul for a bathtub. I just want... Okay, I have a traditional bathtub in this, which is nice because, you know, you get to chill the bathtub. I like that. I want, I want a, uh, I want a Japanese bathtub though. Like that would be like the hashtag dream, like a proper Japanese deep bathtub. Because holy moly, um, their we have a ghost. Um, their bathtubs are just amazing. Hi, Amzus. Good morning. Who? New one night stone. Yeah, because for some reason you're just not building a. You never buried Nuba Night Story for some reason. It just bugged out. Oh, we'll engrave a slab for you then. What was your name? Vukar. I love how we can engrave it for some of my animals as well. There we go. I've seen people make them. It's complicated and dangerous. You're scared to try. Mmm. Uh, it fills itself and you can set the temperature and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, to have space for a bathtub, you would then need to lose either your shower or a second toilet. Yeah, see? This house that we're in is really silly. So, we're two people, right? Two people. There are three, technically, what's supposed to be bedrooms. So, the main one and then technically two for kids, but screw kids, right? Uh, so... The house layout, the way they've done it, is they made a, a, a bathroom for the quote-unquote parents that's, like, um, connected to the master bedroom, which has a toilet, a sink, and a shower. And then they made a second bathroom upstairs that's technically supposed to be for the kids. So that has a bathtub, a sink, and a toilet. And then downstairs, we have a guest, like a toilet for guests, which is just a tiny sink and a toilet. So we have three toilets for two people. It's a bit of a silly house. <laughs> See you well, Nixumia. Yeah, that would be good, B-Hex. Agreed. Yeah, it'd be great. Uh, what the heck is rotting? What's rotting? Shorast? Okay. Why have you not buried that person? It's literally on... Oh, because you're trying to give this to Nuva Nightstone. That's not... Yeah, because for some reason that just bugged out. Where is it? Deceased. Where even are you? In this list. Jeez. Did I miss you? House burial chamber, house burial chamber, house burial chamber, house burial chamber, house, has has. Did I just miss it? Okay, this is odd. This is really odd. Oh, that's a cat! Oh, that's a cat! Oh, that's the cat. Sorry, kitty! That's the kitty. Zero Fay, thank you. FGS Google, FGS Google, FGS Google. FGS Go Go, yep. Thank you so much, Zero Fay, for the resub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back for your second month i really 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 appreciate it thank you so much for the continued support welcome back enjoy your artists and the first of hopefully many crowns 
the suspense. Yes, I know. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There we go. Well, I can't bury the cat, so... I can enslab a... Uh, enslab? What? Enslab a... Uh, engrave. Yeah, sure. I can engrave a slab for the cat, but I can't bury it. Alright, there we go. Sorry. That was... Brains! That was my brain not working properly either. But thank you so much, Zerofe. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, who's the... Oh, the ghost. The ghost is dead. Yep. All right. And slap everything. It's Friday. Yep. Friday. And gotta get down on Friday. Indeed. There we go. Tame. Uh, all those pa animals are available. As... Pets. Indeed. Okay. We still have some lined up for slaughter. Oh my goodness. Hi, Kowzak. Hello, hello. You imposed another ban. No, it's still just crowns, okay? It's just re-giving me the, the same thing again, all right? You guys are welcome to work at the lunch break. You notice there's about 10 DMs. Ugh. Hey, thanks for the hydration reminder. Cheers, Shadowbrine. Thank you. <clears throat> that is fun, Goo, yeah. That is very fun indeed. Oh, it's because these ones... I technically designated them to be cut, but... They're not doing it because I'm an umpty. Fun goo. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like fun goo. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's see. Floor. Do we have... Oh, we do have some glass blocks available. Nice. I feel like we have stepped up our game in terms of um, glass block production now, which is good. I like it. So the next thing that I need is I need bridges in front of these two doors so I can close that that uh, those off as well. I'm thinking. So, like that, and then like that, and then we put that lever also down here. So what's happening? A section of the cavern has collapsed over there. Oh, because you cut the trees and you derp the tree. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. They derp the tree cutting here. That's why. Because that tree was sort of growing through the thing, but also not. It's okay. It's okay. And then a lever here. Has this lever been linked yet? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's the bridge down here. So we can lock off the caverns if we need to. Except there's still a hole here. So I'm glad I just checked because now I can close this off. Because that needs to be closed off. That's all closed off. There's no more bits where they can get through, right? Yes, correct. No, I agree. It's like that. Two levels is enough for trees. Yeah, yeah. Apparently it is. Um, they do seem to still give quite a lot of wood. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Is the cavern also closed off in height? It is actually. Yeah. Um. Let me show you in a second. Um. It's a really interesting ta uh, cavern, actually. So. Um. This is where we enter it right so if you can see like obviously there are more bits here and that sort of stuff but this entire area is really flat and it has a roof over it 
like like all of this so this has like obviously walls and doors and that sort of stuff and then this entire area is just covered with rock and yeah the cavern does go up as you can see but it doesn't hit the staircase ever which is really interesting yeah the cavern is like mostly concentrated like over here and then it then it gets bigger like below this level it gets much bigger but like it goes down from up here to these other areas and then um it's like i don't know what's happening but there's like it's just covered in cave spider silk there's just cave spider silk everywhere so like it's just everywhere so we have like people gathering like spider silk and whatnot like mad it's kind of crazy all right link the lever to that and link it to that yeah yeah but the, the thing is so we should be okay oh okay maybe we're not so okay anymore because the forbidden beast telling vaz and thal has come it's a huge card quadruped composed of flame great so that's cool so that's a flaming uh one yeah that's cool all right we have closed this off good so what we do next is we pull this lever uh right now and then we wait for it we wait for it all right cool we're closed off now at least our dwarves are not gonna bite this one yeah so this should now work right like in theory <laughs> love it it was like i'm gonna do it and then it just went bonk oh there's a bridge here well guess i'm not going there then nice nice that was great that was glorious a migrant has arrived one lonely dwarf has arrived nice who has arrived that was great love it hey soggy cereal enjoy here welcome should be okay uh famous last words there might be some people a thresher has arrived there might be a couple of dwarves down here trying to gather uh spider silk so they they will not be okay yeah there might be some trying to to get uh spider silk but coastal spray the deep made out of flame oh yeah you're so much faster than the vomit co covered beast oh and then i don't see you anymore uh vision lost okay so it can't see a huge quadruped composed of flame it has large mandibles and it undulates rhythmically it is rarely sick but it is clumsy all right i think we're okay i th i am that's actually that is actually true zero fey uh if there was somebody down here trying to gather um spider silk that would be a, a sacrifice i'm willing to make but it seems like that is not the case so we can still farm in the cabin down here without uh having to fear that forgotten beast so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so that can just have fun over there now lovely 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 i i dig it actually so if you don't have to weaponize forgotten beast in short very carefully <laughs> yeah that feels like it's beyond my ability still definitely just a wee bit definitely feels a little bit beyond my ability oh you're still hauling rocks up here oh yeah we also have one undead person in our in our fort still so we had lots and lots of migrants from our last fort come because this is the second fort in this world and uh, one of the ones is an undead but it's an intelligent undead so they're just you know helping out they're just helping out it's all good here lovely gold claw it's just um helping picking up stuff doing things a legendary organizer apparently by now wow not bad just want to help out yeah yeah all right who actually is upsetty spaghetti 
Uh, all right, what's your problem? Eat a good meal, help somebody with family martial training. So are you just busy doing food, I guess? Or other things? Anjuru. Pray to Dujan, shoot. Oh my god, okay. The last full excitement, eat a good meal. Just wants to help out. No, 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 no. This is from my old fort. That person is from my old fort. They, they are friendly. You want to be with your family. Eat a good meal. Fight martial training. Okay. Also, hey, drum original. Welcome. Hi again. Back home from vacay. Finally got internet again. Nice. Also, hi. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Um. Let's see. No. These are all full, so we'll have to see. We have to make more temples, I think. I think there are still temples that we're like, lacking. Okay, they're grabbing stuff, slowly but surely. What about these dudes? No, they haven't yet. It's going to take a while to get through all of that, I reckon. Yeah, I need steel bars. Need steel bars. We're going to need a lot of steel. Hi, Rock Penguin! Hello, hello. How's it going? We have wood furnace, we have a kiln. Now we do have two smelters. I suppose they're also busy smelting like native gold and making coke and that sort of stuff. So maybe we just build a couple more smelters. So more people can do it all the time. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a good idea. And uh, it's here. The surgeon has withdrawn from society and they claim the stone workers workshop. All right, let's just check if you're gathering already everything that you have. Tough day back to school yesterday. Oh, you had to go back yesterday already again. Oh, but better, better today. That's good to hear. All the rights today. I'm, I'm having an ADHD day today, but... My brain's getting there. Hey, Sagira Auditum! Thank you so much for the raid! Hi, everybody! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Stardew. Nice. What you doing in Stardew? Tell me all about it. Thank you so much for coming on over. If you don't know who I am, hello! Hi, I'm FG. I play usually a wide variety of indie games. We've been playing lots of Dwarf Fortress. And apparently the Etten, an Etten has arrived. Tigbo, a Tigbo, Eludicusith, a Membasras has come. A giant humanoid monster with two heads. Lovely. High Galactic Red Dragoon. Lovely. I don't think... I'm trying to see. I don't think there's anybody out and about right now. Also, where? Are you Are you here at the surface? You are. Oh, yeah, you do have two heads. Aw. Look at you. It does have two heads. That's amazing. They have had a child. Tikbo greatest embrace. The mirthful flute. Two heads means double the shot <laughs> chance for headshots. Yeah. 496 years old. They do have a child. Oh god. Oh no, chat! They have come armed! <laughs> They're holding a robe! <laughs> Actually, sorry. It's a robe reed coat. It is sized for humans. It is made from robe reed cloth. It menaces with spikes of cry uh, chrysocolla and limestone. It's coated with ice. Oh no! <laughs> they have come armed! Compound shield user, compound discipline. Adequate armor user, observer, dodger. Tough. Oh god. A giant human monster with two heads. She's incredibly tough and rarely sick, but she's weak. Her hair is extremely long. She's scrawny. She has a prominent chin. Her nose bridge is concave. Her jade eyes are white set. Her somewhat short ears are broad. Her lips are thin. Her eyebrows are short. 
Her left head is somewhat broad. Her hair is burnt sienna. Her skin is pale pink. Oh boy. Uh, the one that attacked your forts had a re three really good artifacts. Well, uh, this one is carrying a rope. It's covered in ice. And I wonder if it's maybe covered in like plum wine. It's a pink etten, yeah. Apparently so. So... Um... Well, you've come out here now. That's a that's a problem. So I keep redoing my burrows because they seem to bug out for me for some reason, and it's really annoying. Okay, so we'll put you on there. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with this. I've never dealt with an Etten before. I kind of just want to send my army to fight it. Hi, Feuerwind. Because it says it's weak, it's tough, so it's going to take lots of hits, but I assume it's not going to do that much damage, but I'm going to save. I'm going to save because I don't know. I don't know. I've never, this is something I've not encountered before, so we're going to save and be safe, hopefully. And then we're going to fight the Etten and see how it goes very exciting you came at an exciting time uh Segura ordered them yeah are two heads better than one i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see and i mean if they hit us with a shirt or a rope it should be okay right maybe you build a shower and a reactor to power it Dang! GG. That's impressive. I haven't I haven't done like anything like that yet, like mist generators or anything like that. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do, because I saved, I'm gonna delete this one again, because that one's just real bad. And we're gonna attack you with our Dwarves, and then we follow you. You are pretty dang fast. Holy moly, you're fast. War. It's just like oh, it's it's. Oh, okay. It's attacking my animals again. It's already tired. Okay. It's tired fighting a goose and a bunny. And uh, not a goose. A goose. A goat. I was gonna say a goat. Okay. It's bleeding already. I'm doing, um, I'm doing, uh, um, frame by frame. So it's nice and short, uh, nice and slow so we can see. It's tired and bleeding already. It stopped bleeding. Okay, you're stepping away. A rabbit, KV board, turkey, and a nanny goat. Okay. Have I tried to catch a goat? Like IRL? No, I have not. The flame beast roaming in the cavern at the moment. Yes, yes, it is. You just saw a, sim a really simple mission already you're putting in your new fort. Nice. Yeah, the, the fire one is in the cavern below. Exactly. Okay, it's bleeding again. Her third toe is broken. Her third toe is smashed open. Her third toe is bruised. Her left head is cut open. Her left head is oozing. Tickbo, greatest embrace the Mirthful's flutes, et and blood. Left head is bruised. Right upper arm is fractured. Her right arm is bruised. She is pretty already in a, in a bad spot. How are you doing? Healthy. Completely not getting hit at all. Herbalist wretches vomits. That's a different fight. That's not this fight. Oh, I think that's them her, fighting quote unquote fighting the um the tree that fell on top of them i love that 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 is such a thing that they fight the trees that fell on fall on them oh where did you go down here it's so easy to lose them all right let's see okay more dwarves are coming you're going back for it you don't even have like an axe yet you just have a a pick you're just going for it all right there's another one coming 
Hyatt right now. Healthy, healthy. Are you actually attacking? I just wonder, are you actually attacking with... Where even is it? It doesn't even say that it's actually in a fight right now. I know, I know. We're, we're working on it. We are working on it. The Eton punches the KV boar. The Eton charges, collides, knocks over. So it just runs at things. So it's not actually using the rope it's holding as a, as a weapon. Because this one is, is halting. Uh, halting? How German? Holding. A rope read cart. It's also bleeding now. Yeah, it's gonna die. And you're just still healthy. Yep. Okay, it is very weak. Like, it's tough to kill, but it's weak as in... Oh, it dropped the rope. It's weak as in, like, we can just... Like, it doesn't hurt us at all. And we just bonk it. You, the, if she brought the rope as a token of peace, she may have. Heavy bleeding. Exhausted. Ability to stand and grasp lost. Motor nerf damage. Sensory nerf damage. Oh my god. This is getting... Holy moly. That's long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's what she said. She wants to marry... Uh, I don't think so. Extreme pain. Heavy bleeding. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Okay, we got lucky with this Etten. Because it can't do anything to us. So we're just poking it, I guess? Mean FG, winded, heavy bleeding. Beating up old Ettons. Well, she attacked us first. She came here. You're tired. Okay, what if I go now to... Oh yeah, and then it's over. All right. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. All right, your name was Tickbo. All right, we will we will engrave a slab for you. We will engrave a slab for you. Oh, you claimed that. As we do with all the beasts that we've killed so far, except for the um, we didn't engrave anything for the wear beast. Almost time to send Molly the Hedgehog back to the rescue center, but you don't want it! Oh, Doug! Yeah, that fostering and like rescues is so good, but that's 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 when it gets sad, when you have to say bye-bye. Okay, you're just grab- whoops, sorry. You're just grabbing stuff now, so that's good. We're safe in that regard then. So you're good to go. You're just gonna start your construction soon, TM. How is... Ooh pile of silty clay loam. I should just make this a recenter location so I can find this easily. Because I need to sometimes go back here to check our indoor well to see how the water levels are, but the water levels are still fine. It took them in over the Christmas period with the staff could have time off. That's awesome. You like making statues of the beasts that attack you for it? That's also good, yeah. I've done that before as well. That is also good. Yeah, the slabs? The slabs don't actually get the entire story, which is kind of sad. It just gets, like, died in XYZ. Or rather, went missing. American Sponger said, hoping it would pop up. No, you can actually, um, you can specify, ever. You can specify what you want on your statues. This is a memorial to Tickbar. The slab reads, in memory of Tickball, went missing in the year 265, slayer of the human mysterious saint wield, devoted mother! Oh no! Oh, we're so horrible! Oh no, we're the worst! Oh, GG us. We're terrible. Oh my lord. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. A tear, a toss sarvesh, the surgeon has created as Nethkithur Fushukthak, a cassiterite scepter. All right. 
The bear on the right was for freezing unclothed child. Maybe? Hi, bear Lar. Literally the worst, yeah. Literally the worst. Recommend to grasp the mean lock. This is a cassiterite scepter. All crafts worship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with round cassiterite cabochons, decorated with cave spider silk and water buffalo leather and encircled with bands of cushion milk quartz cabochons. This object menaces with spikes of native gold and milk quartz. On the item is an image of destined gloves, the tragedy of lurking, the Dralta bind battle axe and cassiterite. It is, there's also an image of the fragment fragment grasp the mean lock the cassiterite scepter and applewood there's also an image of etour ring thunder the dwarf and dwarves in gold etour is surround surrounded by the dwarves the artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf etour to the position of queen of the gold of reverences in year one there's a lot of images in that scepter hydrate true cheers always hydration that is important That is important. Damn it, that's not enough. Four, six, seven. We will finish this eventually. So are you just still... Wait. Do forbidden beasts... Oh, not forbidden. Forgotten beasts just kind of bumble bimble off after a while if they can't get to you does that happen well do they leave the map sometimes look at the dress we could do that yes i guess it's gone then right if it's no longer showing up it left all right cool there it is rope read coat it's a large rope root cart. It is sized for humans. It is made from rope root cloth. This object menaces with spikes of chrysocolla uh, and limestone. It's coated with ice still, apparently. Hi, MA Barrack. It might be an unexplored area. Dependent, it's... Oh, it's probably out of sight. There's out of sight. I haven't seen everything in the caverns. There's definitely bits that I haven't seen. So it's out of sight. Okay, so, so I should still not open it again. Got it. See, that's what I was wondering and you I did not express that but you told me so that's good so it probably has not wandered off because I have definitely not explored everything of the cabins so it might just come back thank you that's just all I wanted to know <laughs> boop, boop, boop. That's fine. We can keep those. Butcher those. Alright, cool. <sighs> okay, so we definitely sort of fortified our defenses up here a little bit, so that's good. I'm trying to think. I could put traps around this area here. To, um... Help us? Um, in case we get breached, right? Because I can't put it in the way of the caravan, because otherwise the caravan will, like... Right? They can't bypass traps, right? I could also just move the trade depot out here and then just put tra traps here. That might be actually a better idea. Because then I can use this in here for, for traps and whatnot. Have a good lurk! Why, why, wait. 
cage traps, not not straight up cages. There we go. All right, that's that. So we can at least have some sort of rudimentary uh, defenses at the top as well, in case there's like a siege or something. That was just at the top, right? Yeah, okay. That's fine then. All right, cool. We're moving the trade depot. Love it. Oh, there's the there's the corpse. Usans of vomit. Yeah. Oh my god, it's ten thousand whatever units of weight it is of vomit. <laughs> there's just a pile of ten thousand kilos or pounds or whatever you want of vomit in our corpse stockpile. <laughs> Refuse stockpile. <laughs> <laughs> oh god ah uh, this game sometimes this game sometimes gotta love it you have a room upon missing post legs you had to give him one advanced bionic and a peg leg it's all you had i mean that's pretty you know on average that ain't bad highlight sentinel yeah that, that you know the average is probably pretty good okay i need to cut down uh, what were they looking like again? Is that this? No, that's cherry trees. I need I need some pine trees apparently because I apparently have no pine wood. Were they up here? More commonly. Oh, there's also cherries up here. Hmm. Whatever. Bonk. We'll hit some pine trees somehow, right? Yeah, we will. No problem. Uh, just cross the material. Let's go. More. Nope, that bed's in the wrong spot. Don't want that. With this, we should then, in theory, be good, I think. In terms of beds. I think we should be good. That's another 11. And then this is going to be another 11. I think we're okay. In terms of bedrooms at that point then. Because... Hey, it's Batalier! Because Batalier, yeah. 189 beds for 199 pop. That's totally okay. Spitalia, thank you so heckin' much for 32 months of support. I really appreciate it. Hi. Hello. How are you today? Thanks so much for the support. It's good to see you. The one problem that I have though is that I need more borax. Because I want my stuff to be made out of borax. And we don't actually have borax in a lot of areas, which really sucks. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for the continued support. I hope you're doing well today. Happy Thursday. And Happy New Year, I think. Or maybe we have spoken and I just don't remember because that could also totally be the case. So I need to shrug your holiday flu. Oh no. Oh no, yeah, you mentioned that. Never mind, you did mention that. Yeah, 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 that you got sick on holiday. Boo. Stupid holidays. Flu sickness. But I'm glad to, glad to hear that you're feeling uh, better now. Yep. Slaughter, that's okay. So this should give us some some more borax to make some stuff with. Uh, how's it going, the dwarf? Hey, it's going actually really good. I'd say both sexy, dude. We've defeated an Etten. We already defeated a forgotten beast today as well. That was made out of vomit. Uh, and now there's technically another forgotten beast. There, there it is. Yeah, it's, it came back. There's a there is this forgotten beast down here, Telling Basin, uh, made out of flame. It is literally made out of flame. 
And it's just um, wandering around down here. Yes, we, we, yes, we fought Usan. Usan, the forgotten beast who was literally just made out of vomit. Uh, how many of you think you're sure about the new year or the happy part? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure if whether or not I already had wished Spitalia a happy new year or not. How strong can fire be? Probably not very strong. There was something else, though, about it. But probably not. Also, it's disappeared into the darkness again. Yeah. 2020 part 4, maybe. Oh, God, no. No. Can we Can we just be done with that? Please, no. No more. I'm, I'm so... Oh, no. Don't use process material. I'm so done. A fire beast did destroy the dwarf. I mean... Yeah, this is this is not a Balrog, right? Right, it's fine. Uh, we still haven't made the gold statues of of otters that I that I commissioned. Rude. Rude. Weapons were eaten alive by brilliant dwarves. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, we defeated the vomit beast by biting it. Yeah, we we bit it. Is the Balrog compared? Well, I mean, it is definitely covered in flame. Just kind of, uh, just call Gandalf. Sure. Sure. I, uh, I have him on uh, speed dial. Ooh, baby! Hey, baby dwarf. If you want a dwarf name, exclamation mark join, by the way. If you want a dwarf name. Barra goes more lava than fire. Actually, I don't know. Hey, Frostrum. Happy New Year. I don't actually know. Make sure it's kind of the grace of free respawn, yeah. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay, I'm putting them on patrolling. And then I'm gonna pull this lever. Because I assume as, as soon as I lower this bridge, the beast is gonna come back over here. Hi, Melon Pansu! Hi, Al! Era 2000 is the worst. It's, it's been annoying as heck, hasn't it? I know. I get it all the time as well. Anybody want to pull the lever? They did, but it didn't go down. What the heck? Wait, that's the wrong one. Oh no, that's the wrong lever. Done it. <laughs> I closed the doors upstairs, not downstairs. No, it didn't. Yeah, I pulled. I, yeah, user error. It's fine. Cheers, Mark. Thank you. There we go. Oh, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay, this might be a terrible idea, chat. I think so we killed it that was so fast we killed it and flames started because that's its body falling apart <laughs> hi Kazad. hi q-tips then hello hello you've been uh without internet since monday today there came some dudes to fix it since the fiber cable was broken but here you are with internet again after they said the cable's broken magic Magic. You see the, the the log. Me too. One dwarf. 
The ex wife hacks the forgotten beast with her left rear foot with her steel battle axe, breaking away most of the tissue. It did actually. It charged. It did shoot off some flames as well. So we did. That did happen. So there's some fire now. Um. But Udil is, I think, okay. Meow. Hi, Zamona. Good to see ya. Let's check real quick. The Axe Dwarf. Soldier. No activity. Oh my god. It's just going cray cray. Yeah, you're fine. I don't know why it's doing that. So we'll do that. I'm only worried about the fire technically spreading down here. That was him. Oh, because he's standing in fire. Why are you standing in fire? Why are you not pathing out of the fire? I did not know that that is a uh, dwarf standing in fire. Why is he not pathing out of it? Uh, just put you on... Route one. Maybe if I if I put him on a patrol, dude. Nope. Nope. He's just standing there. No, he's fine. No health problems, no wounds, no evaluated wounds. I suppose maybe. Maybe they're unconscious, but it it says they're okay. No health problems. No description either that she's broken. I was caught in smoke underground. That's very annoying. Also literally stands in the fire, yeah. How long is that fire gonna last? <laughs> Hi, Bar. This is how you forge the toughest dwarves? Yeah. Um. 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 So. Um. What if I put you on off duty? Will you go do stuff? Nope. Oops. Um. Happy has been re-elected. Nice. Do we do we just have ever la ever burning flames down here now? Did I break it? Pull an eternal forge around her. I know, right? Yeah. It looks like they're literally on fire, but also not. Hmm. I love how she's standing in fire, literally on fire. She felt bitter about dwelling upon getting into an argument. Well, we could try that. Yeah, make a water dumping zone. We could try that, actually. We could try that. Let's see if that happens. If that maybe fixes it. Good idea. Oh, we need to make it a hole to make it a pond. Can't do it from above, there's the ceiling. We'll try, we'll see, we'll try and see if it, if something happens. Oh, we're still paused, sorry. So the ashes are slowly going away. Oh, 
Oh, really? These these walls are warm. I mean, really now? I hadn't realized that these walls are warm. I wonder why. I wonder why these walls are warm. Yeah, I, w I wonder what happened there. I wonder what happened there. Yeah. Maybe we save and reload? Maybe maybe we save and reload. Fire? <laughs> maybe maybe then it'll sort itself out? Potentially, maybe. Well, because clearly, I mean, the dwarf is in the fire, but it's also not taking any damage. Ramping up from below might work. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. At least the dwarf is not on fire and running around the fort. That's true. At least they're not spreading the fire. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Wait, I wonder if these flames are like body parts. No, it doesn't even recognize that there's still fire there. I'm going to quit without saving and then we'll reload. What if the plum wine catches fire? <laughs> I have no idea, Bernicus. We'll try again. There we go. Manual save. But then most of the plum wine is frozen, so I don't know how that will work. Nope, still on fire. Literally still on fire. Technically. I don't think it's the... Um, I don't think it's a body part though. Unless it is. This is telling Bastenthal's flames. It is spattered with water. It's coated with water. It's coated with water. It's coated with water. It's coated with water. It's, coated with water. It's, coated. it's all coated with water. But in these, in these two, there is nothing else there. Can we dump this? I want to see what happens. Because we saved, right? What happens if we dump that corpse? Good morning, everybody. And yeah, welcome to the cup. But I don't want yeah. It's my birthday. Yay, me! I don't want it, and, and there's nothing actually much coming out for the first half of the month, so there's that. Good morning, Keeper of Time. Hello, how are you today? Good to see you. Yeah, there's not much coming out either, so... There's that. Okay, there's somebody coming. Let's see if that fixes it, maybe. All right, what are you? Nope, you're just collecting webs. Hmm, this is interesting. Happy non birthday. Hey, Nightwella. Thank you. Yeah. Um, this is interesting. And hi, friendly. Yeah, it's not my birthday, though. Not my birthday. Now you're thirst. Are you gonna die stuck in fire? Am I breaking games again? 
Well, not on purpose. Oh, I do technically. Yeah, let's see. Um... No. We, we have that. I'm just going to put vermin remains on as well. Hi, Mastani. Hello, hello. How's it going? I, I might be breaking things again. Not intentionally, though. Okay, let's see what's happening. Oh, no, you're also collecting. Every time I see somebody come through the door, I'm like, oh, yeah, now we're doing it. Nope. How's it going, Mastani? Doing slow, but good. That's good. Doing good is good. Yeah, 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 exactly. I, I switched it. Does this dwarf have a task? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, they are in a squad. I tried. I tried to make a patrol thingy. And, and, like, yeah. I, I put them on route one, which is over here. It doesn't make him move, unfortunately. Like, he's trying. No reachable point on routes. Tried putting the squad in active. I tried. Smoke can stop pathing. I'm pretty... There, there was smoke. But I'm pretty sure the smoke has dissipated now. Yeah, I'm trying. But they're not even digging here. But I wonder if that is because the ashes are messing with stuff. Let's dig from here. Uh oh. Yeah. I, yeah. The ashes are breaking stuff. There's something going uh, funky with the ashes on the floor. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is it gone? Does it work now? Wait. Yeah, there's something funky going on with ashes. Oh, I paused. Sorry. Yeah, I'm learning a lot as well. About interesting bugs and things. Oi! I thought you were coming to mine this! Apparently there's a groundhog fighting outside. Oi, no, come back here! Hi, Ralph! Hello, hello. Every time I see somebody coming, I'm like, oh, oh, there's the digger. There's the person coming to dig. Nope. Alright. There. And then we dig. Yeah, that's really odd. All right, and then here, I guess. Dig up, but that does not work. I dug up below him. What if I build a ramp, I guess? Maybe we'll build a ramp. Maybe that'll do it? Yeah, or stairs. I guess we could try stairs, yeah. This is interesting. No, he can't mine down, nope. No, he can't, he, he can't move at all. He's just stuck in the ashes. Yeah, for some reason, the ashes are just preventing their pathing. They don't have to dig through them, do they? No, you can't dig this. The dwarf is part of the military, yes. Yes, it is. The 
They should be able to pass through here and then walk around. No, they can't. Is he on duty? Um, yeah, but I tried to also not making be on duty. I tried to... Wait, why did you stop? What? Oh, right, there we go. He is stuck, yeah. I mean, I could see. Where, where are you? You are... Here. Right? Is it ordeal? Yeah. How do I remove you? I'll remove assignment. No, they're still not they're still not pathing. Digging out the wall next to him? Yeah, maybe. Dunno. We'll try why? Oh, because they're like, it's hot! Yeah, it's hot because there was fire there. It's fine. Just dig it. Just dig it! Please, somebody remove this poor dwarf from the flames. Please. Please. Please help them. Why does this get deleted? I tried, Spitalia. I tried. Didn't work. Wouldn't let me do it. Hey, Rob Pig! Hi! Thank you so much for the 48 bitties! Hello! How's it going? Okay, now, okay, you're doing it now. So digging out next to him. No, no dice. Yeah, we're waiting for the stair construction, but also nothing. He's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally fine. I don't know. There's, there's magic, magic stuff going on here. Definitely. Think it'll go above him. Yeah, designated farm immediately removes flammable surfaces. Oh, designating a farm. <gasps> Thank you, Zan, for checking. All right, we'll try that. Let's try that. Nah, I can't even do it. I can't do it. It literally doesn't let me click these. These ashes basically don't exist. Oh, wait. Mm, yeah, I can't do it. Not, not on the ashes. They're just ever burning. This is, this is crazy. Disable temperature and settings. Oh, you think they're just stuck because of that? Could be, could be. I actually don't know, cause I did turn it. Oh no, it's, it's off. It's already off. Uh, I turned it off last fort and apparently it's not been turned on back again. So it didn't. Well, we're trying to build stairs down here. An able temp. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe that'll make him realize that it's hot. See now, that is interesting. See, that is real interesting. So was this technically going on? The entire time and that's why he didn't move? Also, this is gonna burn the entire cavern uh, now. Everywhere. Uh-oh. That's just gonna spread through the entire cavern now. But they're no longer on fire. So yeah, it was just that breaking with stuff. Yeah, yeah, I built a stone door, yeah. That was just that, yeah. No food th for it then? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We should be okay. Oh, I don't have stone doors, duh. 
Um, my door. Well, it's rock door, isn't it? Yeah, rock doors. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we turned, we turned, so temperature was off. So I turned temperature on and now, now the fires, uh, the flames are spreading. And at least this dwarf is now no longer on hungry, dehydrated, unconscious. Yes. But I don't think they're stuck anymore. So that's good. If I had the tampon early, the flames would have burned down all of the caverns. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize that that setting would be saved. Can it burn past? Well, I guess I could try that. Sorry, one second. Um... Right, that's the right one, right? I thought it wouldn't be able to go past the bridge anyway. No, apparently it can. Just go past the bridge as well. Fascinating. Oh, a forgotten beast made out of flames. Apparently that's not stopping it from being... From passing. That we fought. And then stuff got like real funky. And a dwarf got stuck because temperature was off. And now there's just a burny burny stuff happening. I mean, as long as I could get to them, that's all I, like, that's all I care about. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I will be able to. It's interesting how it just burned over the door. No, 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 this is not a remains of the Forgotten Beast. No, no. It'll be fine. Wait, where did you come from? Oh, hey, you're walking around now, so that's cool. Okay, so that is okay, but they can't pass through the hospital right now. Well, quick, it will spread into the fort. How will it spread up? Stone staircases, though. It shouldn't be able to spread. Yeah. That one. Stone doesn't burn. Yeah, that's what I thought. And this is all stone, so it'll burn all of this. It'll burn my field, but eh, whatever. It's all just gonna be covered in ashes. <laughs> oh my god, is the entire cavern gonna burn down? Or is it gonna stop here? Okay, it's stopping here. It can't go down slopes either. Oh, smoke travels up. Yeah, it might do that. That might happen, yeah. Okay, it can't it can't do slopes either. So fire doesn't go down slopes and up, sorry. It's okay. And it apparently also does not burn farm plots. Wait, so you can use farm plots as fire breaks? Oh interesting. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, more stuff learned. Yeah, exactly. Learning. Hi, Trunk. That makes kind of sense. <sighs> yeah, but there are plants growing on here. Actually, no, there's not. There's nothing growing on there right now. So I guess it's just tilled earth. All right, yeah. Is fire burn soil more nutrient rich? Probably not. I doubt it. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are you doing? Okay, cool. So, that worked. I'm surprised that that worked. Also, apparently these wild fungi also didn't burn. The dead cave weed also didn't burn. Fascinating. So much learning going on. You know, remember when fire breathing made a fire based attacks? Yeah, apparently, apparently so, yeah. Well, now we learned. Now we learn, and at least we've, we've gotten you now, so that's good. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, that's good. That's good. So hopefully 
Our doctors will now go and rescue these two poor unfortunate souls. I love the fire's just done and this, uh, the fungus is already spreading again. Temperature is on right now, yeah. Hob is taken by a fey mood. Where are you going? Thirsty and pale. So you're not actually hurt, or are you? Pale. Hmm. Why are you not going upstairs? Because you are hurt. You're starving and dehydrated. Hunting for small creature. How about we don't do that right now? Where are you? Uh, wait, how can I... I can't cancel that task, can I? Yeah. How can I... I wonder if putting him back on the military will fix that. Is that you? No, that's not you. That's a different Udio. Apparently you have several of those. Interesting. Learn something new every day with this game. they do automatically when they're starving i guess he's currently technically not unconscious so i assume that's why nobody's coming to rescue them because they're not unconscious lying on the floor there you are but you can't actually move yeah i guess so because you're also moving and i don't know the thing is i don't know why they're not moving up to what the for fort oh because the door was bugged the door just decided to bug out no 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 no. so i forbid the door and then i made it passable again and immediately stopped moving the door was bugged I had not locked the door. I hadn't locked the door. It just bugged out. So what I did was I, I made it, I forbid it, and then I allowed it again. And then they started moving their butts. So, uh, yeah, it was just a bugged out. Uh, just a bugged out door. All right, cool. Uh, Stakut, top the way butter, has claimed the stone worker's workbench. And you're already con collecting things, so I guess you're good to go. Happy has entered a mandate. All right. So, <laughs> those poor, poor dwarves have to walk up about a hundred flights of stairs now to get to the hospital. <laughs> oh, I feel a bit mean. That feels a wee, wee bit mean, to be quite honest. But I suppose it is what it is. Also, do we finally actually... Oh, no, we do have a doctor. We have a doctor, we have two diagnosticians, we have surgeons and bone doctors. I still haven't actually put down here, though, the traction benches. That I'm meant to put down. And we've only made one. Also, no tables. Need to fix that, too. We go hope they yeah they better right hey you're starving and dehydrated now walk up a hundred flights of stairs that's fine right that's totally fine yeah that's great Okay, so apparently your deal is actually okay now. I assume. Let's see. Where are you? 
Yeah, he's drinking now. So he didn't actually get hurt while standing in the fire. And he is already eaten and he's now drinking. I mean, Udil Blockade Hill is uh, definitely exactly, exactly <laughs> the correct name for you because you blocked that fire like a master. I don't know about the other dwarf though because we did have that one person who got, got hurt. I don't remember what their name was though. But apparently, oh, what's this? It's Andrew's upper left arm that's been lying here for a very long time. That nobody is cleaning up for some reason. Um, well, I mean, overall, that could have been a lot worse. Had I had temperature on, though, it would have been a lot worse. So now we know. Don't disable temperature when you have a flame forgotten beast around because they mess things up. Why do you, do you throw persimmons on the floor? Let me guess. You're probably the one heckin' military dwarf who grabbed that backpack who that we made be in a in one of the strange moods. Let me guess. And then you just threw the stuff, the contents on the floor as soon as you were done with your military duty for the month. Why why did I press that button? That's exactly probably what they did, because that's what they do. Which is really heckin' annoying. That's why backpacks currently are not a good idea, unless you go on a trip. Uh, hello, blue bug. It's big. Yeah, yeah, it's it's getting there. It is getting there, indeed. Also, hi, hello, hello. Yeah, tend them to always wear their armor, even when not training. Yeah, I need to do that too, I think. With the backpacks. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's gotten... I mean, I've played this as, like, what, the... Fourth stream with it? Yeah, so... It's been it's been a while that we've been playing it. FPS death when? FPS FPS death Jasmine I mean It did ha well it wasn't really FPS death because FPS were still technically working with the necromancer and the corpses. It was just more like uh, three seconds per frame rather than you know sixty frames uh, sixty frames per second. But it still technically did work, so it's actually pretty hard to make FPS death happen. But it's still technically possible. All right, who's so uh, methane pocket is up steady spaghetti. Help somebody be with family martial training. Okay. Hey! Top the rare butter has created Agunul, a native gold armor stand. Oh dang! That's actually pretty, pretty useful, my friend. Um, I guess we can make a new... What? Who was the one person that was like really upsetting spaghetti? Bembool. Uh, all right, where are you, Bembool? Oh yeah, I forgot. It doesn't like that. It doesn't like scrolling if you have two scrollable lists on top of each other. It does not like that. I can tell you that much. There you go. Monthly orders. Go train. By yourself. Have fun. I would train how much is all the Sims 4 DLC sometimes. It's a lot. But I also don't play the Sims 4. So, I yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> Dope dank. That's a, it's a dank armor stand, chat. Very nice. 16,000 worth. Holy moly. It's a native gold armor stand. All crafts worship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with oval native gold cabochons and encircled with bands of groundhog bone. This object messes with spikes of apricot wood and moose leather. On the item is an image of Bridge Glimmer, the Lamented Alliance, the Steel Anvil and Cassiterite. On the item is also an image of Momul's Grasp Gorgeous, the Dwarf in Chalk. So, you draw, drew a, a, a person on it with chalk. Cool. 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 I dig it. Is this the mayor's office? Yes. Uh, Sims and Sims 4 are shells of dead people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I haven't actually checked uh, whether or not... Um, 
Sims 4 is more expensive or train uh train sim is more expensive at this point I know right Sakun me too also hi good morning good to see you is it a really bad crayon drawing <laughs> maybe but it did well probably not actually because it said you know craftsmanship of the highest quality so no it's probably actually really well done I guess it sounds like it's actually really 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 uh well done you know good fps there when a buffler when a weird buffalo got into your town before you turn on the full moon but like 10 people and necromancer was there so you had about 100 people in combat people being raised turning it was bad Ooh. oh yeah trains is more expensive by far oh is it i haven't compared he legit old school I had, I had, I fought um, a Glacier Titan made out of iron uh, with my Necromancer squad. And the Necromancer rests like two people each 20 times or something like that throughout the fight. That's why Gold Claw is, uh, that was last fort. And then um, that fort was in the same world as this. Uh, so one of those few people is Gold Claw, actually, who is now hanging out with us over here. Mm hmm And they are now there yeah. Distracted. Not really? I I could have sworn we have a Don't we have a temple for Nash or whatever the name is? Yeah, here, right here. Nash has tear out the indigo saffron. I could swear that that is the right person, right? Yeah, Nasha's to look, yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Meditating right now, praying right now. So hopefully that's that'll, that'll be then satisfied. But it seems to be a bug right now. Just find a part of your foot with lava on purpose. And the sparks inside the lava is on fire for a year now. A tie turning temperature on for your event, apparently. If you have temperature off, fire is, is weird. Apparently. Mm-hmm. That is, that is, yeah. Okay. Be with family. Help somebody. Well, we'll see. Pleasure with all DLCs is $10,000 at the moment. Dang. That's, that's a lot. You have temperature enabled. Hmm. Try disabling then re-enabling it. Maybe that's gonna fix it. I mean, if it's fine, you know. I mean, if it's not actually a problem, then whatever, right? It was a hundred. Well, we're not talking Rimworld. We're talking Sims Four Bar. Sims Four. <laughs> yeah. You've got Sims 4. <laughs> I have the free version. I have the free ver- like, I mean, I have the base game because I made it free on Steam, right? Mm hmm Internal burning spider silk. I mean, I'm just make it a tourist attraction. It's fine. Oh yeah, we need to- we need to make a slab for, uh, Telling Boston. The burning dude. <laughs> uh, where are you? There you go. Because we're engraving memorials for all of the beasts that we've slain. I did like... Yeah, okay. So we have like 189 bedrooms or something. So with children and like couples around and whatnot, we should have enough for 200 pop uh, at this point. Like that should be... We should be a-okay in that regard. We had one made out of vomit and one made out of flames. The vomit one was easy. The flames one bugged stuff for a little bit. But we are all good now. 
We still really haven't started making armor for our, for our fighting dwarfs. Hmm. We'll see. Sims 4 DLC is 620 euros, but with most of the stuff on sale. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's probably the problem. Four steel bars. You get a bundle a year and binge for a week or two? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. You're not forced to. No, but people usually want it. People usually want it. Right? <laughs> Gotta have it all. Boom bye yay. Nice. Good. That's a good username. Thank you so heckin much for the prime sub. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for spending that here. Uh this month and over else on Twitch. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes. Make sure to refresh so you don't get ads. And thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Alright, we have some water buffaloes that we need to uh take care of here. Alright. No, oh gosh, no, no, no butcher them there we go but do you know how much of a difference to most of your army was out of over four to one from elves and war beasts your dwarves got barely got scratches nice nice uh you still haven't gotten dad of boy for pc oh me neither oh yeah the first one yeah me neither i'm waiting patient gamer waits for for games as soon as it like when it comes to me and like playing games in my own time I, I am so patient, gamer. I just wait for sales. I just wait. Do, do, do. I have so totally not putting putting co put, put coffers in here. Just yet. In, in all of these, really. Well, snap. These do have them, but these two didn't. These are all sorted. These are all sorted. I think we have fully equipped bedrooms everywhere now. Except these ones, but then these are technically tavern rooms. We just don't get visitors. But nice. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, water buffalo cow. That's fine. I guess we can also put our engraver to work again. Can't we? Just uh, do the entire temple layer over here. <laughs> Just all of it. Do we have anybody else? We have, we have a proficient and an accomplished engraver. Hey, you can help out, rigged beast. Maybe should we do the adequate one as well? Sure. These three can, can work on this. That's going to take a while. Uh, you still have to start Witcher 3 in GTA 5. Well, at least with G Witcher 3, if you start it now, you get the nice graphic update. So, I mean, I would say that paid off, Cap. I would honestly say that probably paid off quite nicely. Because now you can just uh, play it like where it looks really, really, really good. 
Might just look at this giant pool. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. How is it suddenly so warm that the stuff is unfrozen? Oh my god. Chat. Is it because we turned the temperature thing on again? And that also made pools funky? Oh my god. So technically they were all not frozen for the entire time. <laughs> well, it's fine. We learned how to make a well, so I guess it was worth it, right? Oh my god, that is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. I dig it. I dig it. Oh my god. So, uh, yeah, we actually had uh, unfrozen water this entire heckin' time. Hey, I didn't know. Most of the other settings don't save between forts. But apparently the temperature settings, or the setting settings then do. Well, now we learned. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, I do already have a fishing zone here. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, I guess we can start fishing then. As well. I didn't know. Yeah, apparently they do. Well, a lot of the other things don't save, so... Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. Now we know. Uh, catch traps. Now we know. It's all good. Learning what's happening. There we go. Alright, cool. All the traps. Very nice. Uh, people want to play. Wait, you've recently bought Fallout 4 Game of the Edition. No mods enjoying it though. Uh, but now people want to play Valheim with you. <laughs> I mean, if they want to, they can do that. That's okay. Oh, the caravan has arrived. Now I can do an ice sheet challenge. <laughs> I mean. Probably. I mean, the, the thing is just getting water underground. That's like the one. And I guess you have to like go to the caverns fairly quickly so you can get access to plants. The thing is though, I still had seasons because trees still grew and plants still grew as well. It's just that, um, yeah, stuff was frozen. Oh well. Oh, wait, how is there a tree there? Okay, let's let's cut this tree. Because then we can just roof this and we can fish all year long as well. Sea embark. I don't think you can, or can you? You're the liaison from the mountain homes. Yay! Yeah, you just bring raw glass. I don't want raw glass. I don't need no raw glass. Oh, you can have C in your map. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I understand now what you mean. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, apparently you can make a, a tunnel, indeed, and connect continents and stuff like that. I think Blind is doing something like that, right? Well, everything is connected. So if you deep dig down deep enough into the caverns, there's a cavern layer underneath the ocean. And then you just build successive forts next to each other and uh, tunnel that way, basically. Or you do it above ground and build a bridge. Uh... And basically, you just make the tiles really big, build the bridge, and then you build your next fort on the on right next to your old fort once you've retired it. Because if you retire it, the fort is closed, and then you can just embark right next to it again, and that sort of stuff. Hey, Theron! Hello, hello, welcome. How's it going? Yeah, 
on. So you play a fort, do some stuff. You play a fort, do some. I wonder if because of the temperature, it also messed with the plum wine stuff. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Well, anyhow, but at least we, we, you know, we managed to figure it out. So that's good. The engravers are slowly starting. It's going to take them forever. Only having um, a few people engraved. But it's okay. Let's put that in there. So this should be now a really nice office for a mayor. Yeah, a royal throne uh, room. Make crowns. Ooh, I don't think we are right now. Uh, there we go. Make 10 bone crowns. <laughs> hey, Bin Bin. Hello, hello. Can you get the same rules back after retiring a fort? I don't know. Not the mermaid. I, I, I retired a fort. Well, did I abandon the fort or retire the fort that I did before this? I want to say I retired the fort I did before this. Or abandoned it to the siege or something, and then we had people come over here. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure what I did, honestly. I did that last Friday, and I, I legit don't remember. Like, my memory doesn't hold on to things like that, I have to admit. So I don't know. I don't know what I did, but I got loads of people from my old fort. But yeah, you can get loads and loads of them. All right, what does it say? This is an exceptional jet memorial to Telling Thor. The slab reads in memory of Telling Boston. Went missing in the year 264. Slayer of the Goblin Zolak Kingdom Dread. Sakoon, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good day at work. That's not quite enough, darn it. One day we'll finish this. And then the fort dies, probably. That's probably how it goes. Alright, uh, request the broker here. You bring news? Ooh! What are the news you bring, Bin Bin? All right, you have arrived. Let's see. Black bronze bars. Ooh. Green glass, ropes, toy bar. I probably need to make some new toys as well. Battle axes. Iron breastplate. Steel helm. I'm going to buy the steel helm. The person of getting hired. Hey, that's awesome, Bin Bin. Congratulations. That is freaking awesome. That's really cool. That is really, really, really freaking awesome. Congratulations. Mmm. Mmm. I literally don't want anything else than that helmet. Definitely don't want anything else here. Is that okay? Well, thank you for your business. Okay. We've closed this now? Good. Whoa, it took out so much of the roof. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's kind of crazy. Wait, did I actually designate this as a fishing zone? I think I only designated this as a drinking zone, actually.
don't even know if there's anything in there. On the 16th? That's awesome! Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything in there. It might not be big enough. I wonder about this one here, though. Nope, oh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Mmm, masterpiece pine cabinets, eh? Right, how is... Before doing Evil Genius 2. I remember that. Uh, the game, I mean. All right, they're 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 starting on it. And they've done some, so that hopefully means that we're now training up our engravers even more. Yeah, because we only haven't accomplished one. I haven't done much engraving in this board actually. That's why. But no, that's great. What's what's the new job in Ben, if you don't mind me asking? How's this? Good. Okay, they're washing off some blood. This is reclaiming now. Good. The fungus is just growing again. Hi Sikalana. Hello, Lor. You went and bought three packages of coffee. because uh, you thought you were low. Now, I decided to organize your remaining coffee packages by expiration date, but you had 10 unopened coffee bags already. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. At least you won't run out of coffee now, anytime soon. This is just still covered. I'm so glad that the fire doesn't spread slow down slopes or up slopes. Where else forklift driving? Oh, you'll be garbage stop la fara Klaus. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> hey, no, that's awesome. Well, that's really, really cool, Bin Bin. Congratulations. Oh, that's fun. That's, that's great. I want to put a statue there. <clears throat> Make it all nice and stuff. Um, is it still you? Yeah. You with family. Yeah, that's the problem. I think they probably only have family not here. Mm hmm. Maybe you have two pets. Wait, is this a different one? Nashas number volal. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a different one? Do we have two Nashas deities in this world? Wait, do we have two deities that that are called Nashas in this world? No, okay. Apparently, the indigo saffron in Dwarvish, in Dwarvish is a mishy mush dish. It's a mishy mush dish. All right, okay, no, there's, there's just one, all right. Okay, so, then go pray to her. Do it. I mean, it's just one, really. I mean, this is actually, like, if you look at this, this is, this is pretty happy dwarves overall. Oh, see, mid-autumn. Okay, now it's frozen, but I guess we didn't finish the roof in time? Well, we might be able to fish in summer, if we're lucky. If there are actually fish in it, because I don't think there are actual fish in it. Where did I... Oh, there. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, at least until summer. Yeah, that is a, that's a lot. That's gonna be a lot of coffee. Oh. 
here. I was looking one over too far, uh, not far enough to the left. But at least, hey, you'll 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 be awake, uh, Sikolana now. So that's good. Okay, they're already doing that. When I say they're doing that, I mean they are smoothing on both sides. So. We still haven't freaking made the otter statues, even though I told them to make otter statues out of gold. That is just rude. Unless I messed it up. It was a rock salt statue. No. Very odd. Oh well. We'll do it like that for now. That works. How is this looking? <laughs> yeah. Eventually, right? Eventually we'll get there. With three engravers, it takes a long time to engrave. But at least they'll slowly level up in their skill. Hey, Busted! Thank you! How's it going? Hello, Lo. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna go spelunking, but eventually you caved. Off you go, Bin Bin. Zilnora, thank you! Holy moly. It's my time again. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Zelnora, thank you so much for eight months of support. Tier freaking three resub at that. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well today. And thank you, thank you. That's really generous of you. That's super duper 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 awesome. Thank you. Just waking up fast at well then good morning just got home well welcome home zonora for a picky cat wanna is daft you've been springing stuff to have her teeth on her biscuits so she's now currently refusing it to eat wet food she's like sure this is fine maybe it just doesn't smell of anything Driving in Norway yesterday was interesting. I can imagine. <laughs> it's like some weird seaweed stuff. Hmm. Or maybe. Maybe she just really likes the smell. Many the construction of certain goods. More crowns, eh? Have we finished the crown thingy yet? We did. Mark! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my lord, Mark! <laughs> that word is one word off from a really, really naughty word in German. Which I'm actually surprised uh, as to why that, um, uh, name is still around, because, yeah, that, that is, that is a naughty name. That is a naughty name. What's the word? Uh, you type Dorf, and I was, well, so Dorf in German means village, right? Uh, and then the S, the word that starts with S-H-S, uh, S-C-H, is a... Um, basically the worst amalgamation of bitch and whore. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's real bad. Uh, thank you so much for the gifted sub though. I really appreciate it. And last, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Really appreciate it. Thank you for, 
for starting a hype train. And now that there's somebody uh, knocking on the door. There you go. A boar. Well, it's not really a boar, no. It's like... It's a very not-so-nice word for uh, a woman that might be a bit more promiscuous. But it's like a... It's like a bad word. Like, yeah, it's not a very nice word. But it's okay. It says about, can you smooth shell floor? Uh... You will need a second for it when you try to smooth your in. No one is doing it. Um, are they all busy doing other things? But you should be able to. I mean, to be fair, all right, I have to preface this. I am also not a... Uh, I'm also new to Draw Fortress. But I'm pretty sh sure you should be able to because I think you can just smooth all floors so your people might just be busy doing other jobs but uh, chat we need your help can you smooth shale floors or uh, not also thank you so much chat for the hype train sorry about the disruption that was just an amazon order hey thanks for the follow you can smooth shale. So they might just be busy, busy uh, doing other things than uh, the Tufted Company. The Farmer's Guild requires a grand guild hall. Uh, is it a constructed floor? I don't think so. But yeah, yeah. Constructed floors you cannot smooth. But... Uh, Normal rough stone floor you should be able to smooth, no problem. But yeah, Chad, thank you so much for the hype train. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no problems first. Hmm. Yeah, they might just be busy. But good question. Um Oh, this is all on one. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, but thank you so much, Chad. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and smoothering. No, it's not smoothing. It's engraving. It's engraving. Yeah, birthday train. It's not my birthday, but we're choo chewing indeed. Yes, thank you so much. Last for the gift itself. Uh, for the for the bits. Mark for the gift itself. And Zonora for the tier three resub. That is incredible. Thank you so much. Mm mm. Oh, Sizo Mac, uh, Sayo Sayo's Mac. Sorry, um, I can read. Is it because the labor got suspended? Try to click on the uh, smoothing job, because now I wonder if the smoothing job just got suspended. But they don't do that, do they? They only do that with construction. So never mind. No. Yeah. The engraving order doesn't show up like that. But orders up here in tasks. See if any picks it. Uh, anybody picks it up. No, smoothing has nothing to do with temperature. No, no, no. That has nothing to do with temperature. Thank you so much for the hype train chat. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. Yeah, we might uh, specialize in graving dwarf and see. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're just busy. Or it was forbidden accidentally. Yeah, that could also happen. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I know Loki. I know. It's not that I'm having a problem. Mine is fine. My people are doing it. What did you make? Crowns. Okay, now we're making that. I also only have three people doing it. Yeah, I only have three engravers doing it. Two. Wait, what happened to our... I had you selected as well. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Do you need equipment or something to, smooth, to engrave? No. No. But yeah, make, make sure up here to check if this was like because if this was checked nobody does it then um it could just be uh an accidental misclick because i've done that before oh yeah absolutely that's the whole point loki that's the whole point well and to make it nice but um the whole point is right now to make it look nice and skill them up Mm-hmm. Apparently 136 of our 200 dwarves are farmers. <laughs> sure. Why not? Specialized Ralph took up the job. Then they were just busy, yeah. Yeah. Well glad I'm glad chat could help you. Yay, I'm glad we managed to solve it. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> I mean maybe, Luxel. Have you ever seen a dwarf actually smooth stone? Doran! Hi Doran, thank you! Oops, he slipped that button again. Doran, thank you so much for 13 months of support. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome back. How are you doing today? So good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the resub. And the continued support. But hey, at least at least they're actually working on the guild hall that I want them to work on, so that's great. Because we want this to be well, we have to make this a grand guild hall. Eventually. You're okay. That's good to hear. That is good to hear that you're doing alright. Oh yeah, there's still plenty of water in here. Nice. Uh the dwarves are doing alright actually. Can't complain too much. Uh, we're learning lots of stuff. Like how turning temperature off can break stuff quite gloriously, so to speak, I guess. So uh, yeah, no, no, it's it's good. It's really fun. I this this is a really fun fort so far. I have to say, like this fort's been real fun. And just, I don't know, it's, yeah, no, it's been, it's been really fun to do so far and, and play and whatnot. We killed two forgotten beasts today, yeah. Hey, so far no were creatures. When we played this fort last, we had like four were creatures. Haven't had a were creature yet. Again, I mean, we probably will. But yeah, we had two were bulls, a were chinchilla, and a were squirrel. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. You heard correctly. Where squirrel? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mastani sent the goons after us, indeed. Yeah, you can get get wear any uh, anything. Indeed. Are there more, e more emus outside? Yep. We've also discovered that we're in Australia because there's wild emus and kiwis, so uh, yeah.
Now I want to bribe the the game. No, not bribe the game, but like change the code so that we get wear otters. As in a fruit? No, the bird trunk. The bird. The bird. Also, I need to move this. I'm gonna deconstruct this metalsmith forge and move it into the spot where it's actually supposed to be. I should speak to Goo about the goons. Oh boy. I see how it is. Why is this automatically designated as dumping? That's odd. That's really, really odd. Can you explain why I'm thinking diamond shapes? Because it looks pretty. Because it looks pretty. Our entire fort is just designed to look pretty. That's all. Yep, only for the look of it. It's actually less efficient to make diagonal pathways for dwarven movements. But yeah, all, all of this stuff is just for, for design to make it look cool. <laughs> yep. All just for looks. Form not function is the motto of this fort. Because it looks real cool. <laughs> I'm a beast of architects. <laughs> well, thank you. I think. Hey, Nishara, are the smoothing jobs in every inch of the fort? Oh, absolutely not. No, 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 no. We're just engraving the temple and guild hall layer. See, this is still not smooth or engraved. This entire area is not smooth or engraved. This area is smooth, and then the the, the mayor's office and dining room and bedroom has, uh, are engraved. So no, they're not everywhere. We are also okay. I should say form, not efficiency. Yeah, it's form, but not efficiency. Yeah. I think, I think I want to learn how to make a mist generator in this fort. That's, I think, going to be our next big pro big um, project next to the uh, quote unquote greenhouse. right give me a moment <clears throat> why do you need mist generation to make dwarves really really happy it makes dwarves really really happy like dwarves like to look at mist and waterfalls Mark! thank you Indeed. Mark, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Meow. I appreciate it. All right, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I accidentally set all the engraving jobs to the same priority. I didn't mean to do that. Thank you so much, Mark. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Zeliot. And hi, hello. A happy dwarf is a productive dwarf. If 200 pop is too easy, well, the cap is 220. It should be 220. I want to say. Yeah, that's including births. We'll see. And thank you, Zelliard. Okay, cool. So we're working. Yeah, we need to get this up. Um, mostly just because this entire area needs to be a grand guild hall. Because it has so many members. So I thought before we uh, throw more statues in there, we'll just engrave everything. Thank you so much, Mark, for gifting that sub. Thank 
Yeah, this one. I mean, this 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 entire floor kind of looks like a target. Like all arrows pointing towards that. Then we've got some diamonds. This is sort of. It's not really like a fractal, but it almost looks like a fractal in a way. This was just me digging for stuff around. Exactly, Azure. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, this was just me uh, looking to see if I could have if I had some borax on this level, and I don't, which is a bummer because I need more borax. It's like a logo for something. I mean, if the it it is vaguely shaped like the like um. The visual alert for red alert in Star Trek, I guess, but that's definitely not the inspiration. It's kind of just it just I went I went Diagonally and then I was like, hmm How can I make these room? What can I do with these rooms? And then this is kind of just What it grew into an extra zombie. Give me a moment In your head Zombie Zombie uh, can we do flowers? Absolutely not, no. Why are those floors with the stone looking things on top? You mean this? You mean the face? That's an engraved tile. What do you mean this? That's a statue. You mean the, the, the square portrait? This is just uh, the engraving with a symbol on them. This is just the engraving queued up. This is what it looks looks like when you queue engraving up. Sorry, that was me hitting my plate with a fork. Yeah, that's just that's just the engraving symbol. That's for the I've told them to engrave this tile, but they haven't gotten to it yet. Hi Dusty, good morning. The one with a mouse cat looking symbols at the top. I I I don't know what you mean. Um, yeah, I, I, unfortunately, I don't know what you mean. Sorry. Uh, and, and hi, Nika, and hi, Dusty. Cheers, Dusty. Thanks for the hydration reminder. I, I don't I don't know what do you mean these up here that's just the happiness symbols I don't know what it looks like what looks like a mouse or a cat oh no sorry <laughs> I don't I don't know okay that's they're, they're just they're just happily work on that we'll just leave that We'll just leave that like that. You could always take a screenshot and like post that on the Discord. And then I could see. But only if it's like... Bothering, really bothering you, I'll say it that way. No, we don't have a dozen cats. We do not have a dozen cats. We have four cats, I want to say. Yeah, we have four cats. We have a lot of KV pigs. Four dogs and then some 
a whole bunch of bu water buffaloes, but we we did actually cull the water buffaloes quite a lot. What's the KV? I don't know. It's a guinea pig. That is the taxonomic name for guinea pigs, apparently. So it's a guinea pig, but it's the actual correct term, yeah. I always call them guinea pigs because they look like guinea pigs in the game. So, but they are actually also guinea pigs. There you go. One of the few other mammals that can get scurvy. Oh, really? Hmm. I did not know that. I did not know that. So, all right. Let's learn about mist generation chat. Because I have no idea how to do it. Mist is created by water falling from one Z level to another. Ocean waves, items or creatures skipping across water or just stand up splashing. The mist is generated on levels below the top level from which the water drops. But spreads out similarly to miasma and therefore can appear even on the top level. Lingers and spreads for a short time after any water stops falling. Walking the mist generates a happy thought to a dwarf. And can act to clean various contaminants of dwarves. Alright. Easiest method is to simply use a con constant source of water. Pump our channel and let it fall more than one Z level next to a path that dwarves use regularly. The actual tile, you only need one that the water drops, should not be part of the path. As dwarves will believe that they are in 7x7 seven seven water and cancel jobs, and statue on that tile will prevent this nicely. We'll place it for itself to the side of the path and make that a restricted traffic tile. Floor grids or bars on, either, on, on every tile adjacent to the water flow should be used as part of the drainage system, which should be larger than the intake system just to be safe and avoid mud on adjacent tiles. Use a door hatch, flood gate, or bridge to allow us to turn off the flow when if desired. Okay. Okay. Does that one generate mist by moving wood in a circle using pumps? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, in games general, that's totally that's 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 that would be perfect. But in a story I'm making a signal from that's just missed with like two buckets of water. You can also just drop water down onto statues. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was thinking. Cause so <clears throat> what do we catch? Oh! The stray cat has adopted Philim. Oh. Nice. So we because we have so we have this. We have this. Which is um an aquifer so the problem with the because i don't have flowing water the problem with the aquifer is i don't think it generates water fast enough to have a constant flowing source of water for the mist generator unless like if i then just channel the water away so what we probably want to do is create another reservoir of water for a mist generator. And luckily I have space up here. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, Valk. The problem is just... Because obviously the best place to do it would be in the tavern. Because that's where people go to chill. No, it doesn't use up water, but I can't just... The thing is, I can't just... Uh, the mist doesn't use the water, but if I were to drain it off the map, which is the easiest thing to do if you have flowing water, 
I can't do that because my water would I would run out. That's what I'm saying. So we have to make a pump cycle basically. So what I'm thinking is So I could have it dr drop from up here. Just make a make a containment here and then have it drop from here. Down on a statue here in the middle. Has anyone had a chance to play this on Steam Deck? Um, I as, as far as I know, you can technically do it, but it's like really annoying because there aren't cause that it doesn't have controller support, so it's like it runs, but it's really awkward. So I probably wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> So if I wait, wait. If I let me, let me see. If I, all right. See you later. If I do it here, I wish I could mark stuff. That be that be great. Oh, actually, wait. Let's mark it. Let's mark it easily. Runs but really awkward me when you're training. <laughs> uh, or would it be uh? Uh, runs but really loud. No, never mind. I was trying to make a stupid joke. Never mind. Um, yeah, why have we still not? Okay. Why have we still not made the gold statue? Um, <clears throat> a river otter. Stones. Action or relationship. The river otter is admiring stones. And then the river otter is... Uh, looks confused, dejected, offended, terrified. Not happy? Shooting, speaking, praying, melting. The river otter is laughing. Done. Alright, go. Somebody go make this now. Please. It's on a pet pick. Replace the tiles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those things. Yeah, no, those are those are dwarven faces, uh, Zelia. Those are dwarven faces, and that is um, the engraving task queued up. All of these, where you see these faces, everything up here, these are all tiles that told them to engrave. Like this entire massive thing here, that's all tiles that I told them to engrave, and they're working on it. And then uh, when it looks like this, that's when they've done it. So this is this is the task queued up. When it's blinking is that's the that's the tile they're currently working on and then when it looks like this that's when they've done <clears throat> our guild hall right now is at 69 69 wealth nice nice hi fortunes hello lord good to see ya you want to do some semi sleeping all right Zelnora. see you later see you later and welcome home again Dwarves. <clears throat> Dwarves. Hello, Brogantic. Hello. I hope you're doing well today. How are you doing today? And dwarves. And possibly, probably a dwarf. And how about a gold statue of another person? I mean, yes. I, I abandoned a fort because the aquifer was like across the entire map. But we literally have an aquifer on this map. Up here. Uh, so we're tapping into the aquifer to feed our well. 
So yeah, we, we do have a light aquifer on this map. No heavy aquifer. I haven't done a heavy aquifer yet. All right, have you actually made that statue now? They start, but then they don't do it. I have no idea for Evans. What's an aquifer, uh, Firesmith? Uh, an aquifer is a water bearing layer in the soil, in the ground usually a stone layer that so basically um it's it's a layer in the ground that has water in it and that constantly has yeah that just has water in it so if you tap it tap it not tap it tap it water comes out like an aquifer for example can feed the ground water if it's connected to the ground water and that sort of stuff yeah Maybe I didn't know what an otter looks like. No, they should be able to do it. They they hold they hauled the gold bars to do it. Then they just in the end didn't do it for some reason. I don't know why. Very strange. <coughs> Anonymous! Thank you for gifting a sub to Daddy Dorf. Let's try again. Like, was there, like, tons of wood in a layer? If it's a heavy aquifer. A light aquifer, not so much. Anonymous, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna try again and see if they do it. I feel like it gets overwritten. By the steel bills and the other ones. But I don't know. Thank you so much, Anonymous. I really appreciate the support. Fuck cool. For gifting that sub. Because they haul the gold bars and they just don't do it. Maybe otters don't exist. See? It goes away. Maybe otters don't exist in this world. Or as you said, yeah, maybe they can't do it if they haven't seen it. All right, there we go. Grand Guild Hall. Done. The Guild Hall agreement with the Tufted Company has been satisfied. Indeed. Well, I guess... Uh, the job cancellation... Mm. Need refined coal. Apparently we're out of refined coal. What the heck? Did my did my charcoal order get uh, get cancelled again? I had that before. No. It's literally queued up to make charcoal. Available logs. A few. I'd say. <laughs> I'd say available are if there's a few. No, that's not it then. Yeah, that's really odd. I mean, I guess maybe I just need more wood furnaces. Maybe it's just not enough. Maybe I just need more wood furnaces. I mean, easy enough to, to rectify. Right, it's not like that's a problem. Hi, Lister's <clears throat> Hi, Lister Onion. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Uh, I'd say it's going all right. I'd say it's going all right. Now I'm just going to queue up some more. 
Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's the problem. We're just using it faster than we're, we're producing it. No, it's going quite well. Yeah. Sometimes the noble can jail your manager if you didn't make their demands. It happened to you. Oh. Mm. Nah, we have we have two cold cases of murder, which were vampires. Yeah, that's it. I have been satisfying the mayor's demands. Usually, make crowns. Do we need more crowns? Did you did you tell me to make more crowns? There we go. Make more crowns. Because I've been trying to do that. It's, prob it's probably just not enough people working on it. I'm just going to queue it up manually for a little bit. I suppose what we could do is... Well, we probably shouldn't do make forever. But this one here, work order. We can add one for this one. Make charcoal. Um... If the amount of refined coal is less than 100. Make 200. <laughs> there we go. The randomness of the workshops. It's not really all that random. It used to be quite ordered. Like you see here, for example, it's all the same ones. And then I've just, and here it's just all the same ones. And I had to kind of like add more and more. It's still separated though. It's the kitchen is over here. Like cooking stuff is over here. And then arts and crafts is over here. And yes, I just called it arts and crafts on purpose. So they're doing it now here. And I don't think... I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I uh, did not, al I'm not allowing my manager to do anything else. Night Dweller. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Night Dweller is just managing. Yeah, yeah, they're not allowed to do any of those t tasks. If you have no dungeon setup, they can't. Yeah, but I mean, it would still show up as in like uh, an open case, right? Because like fail to do a, do a production order um, would show up. Drunken brawling would show up and all that sort of stuff. Like that stuff still shows up even if you don't have a dungeon as a case, right? <clears throat> all right, hey, anyway, somebody has become a wood burner. So at least they're doing that now. Yeah, so they're just making charcoal here now. Uh, Captain of the Guard. We... Oh, we don't actually. True. I think they must have died because I'm pretty sure we actually had one. But I suppose that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the convict would be there. That's true. Yeah. Dungeon master. No, no, no. They're the literal master of the dungeon. Woven child. Hmm. She was amused. Remembering wearing old clothing and mulling over the recurring memory allowed her to rethink her intellectual values and change her personal tendencies. She finds something humorous in everything, no matter how serious or inappropriate, after wearing old clothing in 263. <laughs> nice. Uh, hi, Kappa. Hello, Gern. Hi, Imuran. Hello, hello. Hey, GG Goo. Well done. Well done. 
That's that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a really good thing, actually. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try let's try the otter statue again, shall we? Because an otter statue in the middle of a mist generator feels like something very appropriate. Wait, uh, does this? No, wait back. Existing image. Oh, group symbol, group commission, civilization. Oh. Really? Really? This artwork is a finely designed image of two creeping eyes. The image is the symbol of the gold of reverences, a dwarven civilization. Cool. Cool. Our symbol is creepy eyes. Lovely. Oh, here it is. Uh, we can try this one. The line of selves. The artwork is image of a giant otter and stones. The giant otter is admiring the stones. The giant otter is laughing. Let's try that again. We have two. Well, it's better than none, so it's something, I suppose. You love it if dwarves would make bad rendition of animals they've never seen. Oh my god, that would be amazing. That would be that would be hilarious. Yeah, we need so much more refined coal. But they're they're doing it everywhere now, so that's good. So hopefully we'll do that. Because I haven't haven't actually found magma yet. So no magma forges either. So we'll try that. Oh. Why is this a... No, no, no. This is not supposed to be a rock salt statue. Goodness. It's supposed to be a gold statue. Impossible. Or maybe they have made them and they just gave it a different... No, that's an image of Gashud. Nope, still don't have enough coal. Hmm. FGS villager, yep. Very much so. Uh, where is it? There we go. I guess we'll get a couple more. And then we'll set them to only make bituminous co uh, to make coke. For now. 
Because that it just ain't happening. Oh, I feel like managing the moods of children is really hard. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Also, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and then the amount of coke is less than a hundred. Did I just set up that as a general order? I did. I just completely did. Oh, because it does show up like that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Hopefully they'll make that there too. And then they're doing the same thing here. Hey, Winsara, welcome back. Oh, oh, oh. oh they're making these gold statues now. They made a gold statue of a llama. Nice. I guess we'll make a gold statue order here of otters. We'll just make it like five of them and then they'll make that eventually. When life gives you llamas, make laminate. <laughs> a poor llama. I'll just put one here for a temporary thing. As a temporary thing. Because I'm going to try to make a mist generator. I'm clear you have llama soap now. Got it. Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. Mana, mana. Do, do, do. All right, so that would be here. So now I'm thinking, so the water comes from here, falls down on this, then hits the grates, goes down here. Rith. Athenlunul, the wrestler, has bestowed the name Deck Suit upon a steel battle axe. Nice. Hey, Pale Rider. But then... If the water is in here... That's not... That means that the pump would need to be here, right? Because of the layers and how it works because the surface of the water would be here so we actually want this to be too deep but then I still need to somehow get the water back here and then get it back up to have it go this way again oh this is gonna be tricky I think I'll have the water go well I have to have it go this way and then, oh, that works actually. If I just have it go to the side and then up. Because uh, we don't want to dig too much into, because a lot of this stuff up, oopsie, sorry. A lot of the stuff up here is also aquifer. And we, we want some aquifer to feed this entire system, but also not too much. Mm-hmm. So we want to go here. Oh, they can't get to it, can they? Oh, 
Oh, no, they can. It's just I'm on auto mining. Duh. So we want to do that. And then one lower. We want to do the same. But then... Down here, we want it to go... It needs to go... That far. Dwarven plumbing, the ultimate nightmare, yeah. But then... So with putting floor... Am I one off? No? No, it's right. No, 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 it's right. Because uh, the grates will go around. No, 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 all good. Because the grates... Putting in grates in the floor means there is now a pathway through the... Through the ground, right? But then this and this... Is not through. So we need to dig a... A channel here to break through to the side below, right? Oh shoot. Okay, you know, you are being smart well, you were somewhat being smart about it and then you weren't. Yes, because now I can see through. Okay, good. That's what we wanted. Cool, 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 cool. Wait. Oh, it digs it on both levels. Oh, shoot, we don't want that. Oh, we don't want that. I didn't know how it would do that. Because I already needed to dig it down there. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know it would dig that on both. Because I only needed, needed to be dug on this level here. Uh, so... I queued up some mining to line it up, to line a water channel, but it just queued it up for both levels. For this level and for that level, but I only needed to be dug on this level. It's fine. It's... I can fix it. No, 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 no. The channel, the channel is correct. No, no, no. I want this, I want this like that. No, no, no. I'm talking about this arm extension. Because I did, so I did, what I did was this. I went like this, like that, and then queued it up, and that made it queue up for all levels. Yeah, I, I just didn't know that. Today I learned. And I just didn't want that because I don't want it to be dug on this level here. But it's okay. We can fix it. The tavern level is fine. Should be fine. I think. Uh, I'll check in a second. I don't think there's anything. Oh, shoot. They're actually digging the tavern. Never mind. Yeah, okay. But there we go. All in a dwarven day. Hey, you you know, every day is a school day when you play Dwarf Fortress. Thank you. Okay, you were being smart about it. All right, cool. Because this just needs to be open so water can fall down. Because I'm basically learning how to build a mist generator. Is it going to be the most uh, offensive, uh, offensive, what, effective one? Probably not, but yeah. Oh, we just started, Luxel. We're just starting. So... I have this right, right? So, this this layer down here... will fill up with water. And then to get it... a level up... I need a pump on this level, right? Because it touches the surface on the other one, right? Because it's not going to be... Yes, because it's not going to be on the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So, here. Oh, but the thing is, like, how am I going to power this? How am I going to power this, chat?
AJ Bigley, dwarven flatulence, build a build a gen by build a reactor. So, when you say build a reactor. Does that... Is it a perpetual mobile? Like, can I... Can I generate power by running windmills through the water flow that I'm generating with the pumps? Does that work? Water and power before water wheels. Yes. Okay, so you can technically make a self-powering generate, like... The water, because the water wheels produce more power than the pump consumes. Ow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, perpetual motion, exactly. Okay. Okay. So... I assume that water wheels would need, need, would need to be on this level as well, right? I assume. It's a net energy net gain. Yeah, that's what it... Yeah. How big are they? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. So they would be... Oh, wait. Can you not rotate them? Oh, no, you can't. Up there. <laughs> There's a button. So they would be like this. How high are water wheels? Are they two Z levels or three Z levels? Because if the... So the water flows through this. Right? This is where the water flows. So, if you put the wheel, water wheel here, that, will that work? Or does it need, need three Z levels? Uh, you're still going to work here with no water source outside. The aquifer... Uh, outside the aquifer, so you want to do a reactor. Yeah, same, actually. So, so what I did, I made... I made, like, a... I tapped into my aquifer to make a well. Because the surface water freezes a lot. They are ones at level and they produce energy when the water is running underneath it. Okay, cool. So that works. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, how many do I need for one pump? Well, actually, I will have two pumps, right? Because one to transport from this level. One on this level and then one on this level. One that goes here one that goes here and then that already goes to where okay thank you luxel so how much do they require a pump consumes 10 oh, also just one water wheel Oh, this is going to be fun, chat. Oh, this is going to be such a more involved project. This is going to be fun. The water wheel consumes power as well as the transmission system. That's okay. I mean, obviously we'd have to... Actually, I'm not even sh Well, no, we would have to probably start cranking by hand first. Or pumping. Actually, no, we don't because... The water up here will just flow because it's going to be an aquifer i'm just going to lock it behind a floodgate so i can release a sufficiently big amount of water in one go so the water will can start going i assume there's no way to stock to save power right there's like no yeah you probably have to have to just keep going all right all right all right all right all right, all right. learning Learning is happening. I like it. I like it. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so... Quarter cent incoming? Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Only elevated water. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, wait, no, I'm being an empty. I'm being an empty. We don't actually need uh, that, this many openings here. I just need one here. Duh. Sorry. I'm being an empty. I confused myself. I don't actually need that many. I just need a whole. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Hence me saying that I'm a numpty. It's fine, we're, we're fixing it. We're fixing it, all good. Oh! I'm gonna remove this statue, because that's not the statue that's gonna be there. Gonna be a different statue there. Uh, Robau withdraws from society. They've claimed the stonework as workshop. All right. By the power of Namti, I compel you. Wait, what? <laughs> that's a different thing. Have we made one of these statues yet? Let's see. No, that's rock salts. Llama. Chipmunk man. I mean, to be a ch chipmunk man statue is pretty cool, but just not what I want. I want to otter yeah we haven't made these yet have we all right okay so we have the hole here good um so that's where the water the water the water is gonna flow <laughs> all right War. Yeah, I know, right? I know. And then what we'll do is... I need a mouth, I guess. Because we want this pretty full, don't we? So... Oh, Lord. Okay, so it's three. Oh, gosh. Wah. Wah. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen... 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. I should have done, moved that before I did. Uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44 times three that's 132 three four five six seven hundred and thirty seven ish that's a lot so we need a big reservoir up here yeah we're gonna need a big reservoir that we can lock behind uh, a thingy and when I say thingy, what I mean is a... Wait, I'm being... Oh, no, wait. No, no, I'm not actually being an empty. Never mind. I'm not being an empty right now. Good. All right, cool. So that's that. That'll be that. This is where the first uh, water otter... Wa -a -a. <laughs> no, water otter. Water. Um... Right, pump here. Pump here. And then this is where this is where This is where the water come out comes out. Wait, no, I need to pump here too, right? Cause pump from this level to that. Pump from this level to this. And then a pump from this level to that. Okay to No, I don't. No, this is fine. Or is it? Wait. Sorry. <laughs> now I'm confusing myself. Pump. 
from below to this pump from below to this pump from below to this no i need okay pump here okay so we'll have a pump here and then we need to funnel the water back this way yes like so Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna dig this yet because there is aquifer here, so I don't want to mess with that just yet. Um because or I do and then I smooth it because I want to like actually add the water pretty controlled via the use of a floodgate uh here. Back here and then just dig out more area. And then fill it all up to like how much water we need to fill all of the bits down here and then have it go. Am I on this for a three by three fountain? Yes. But it's going to be a self powered three by three mist generator. Uh, once I break that wall, does the water just come spilling out? Uh, very slowly because it's a light aquifer. So very, very slowly, like we can just go and smooth those sides, which currently stops uh, water from coming out right now. So this is two, four, five by two, four, six, eight, nine. So 45, 50. That's 50 tiles. 60, 70. 70, right? Yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 80. One thirty, and then we add some more like that. And the way I'm doing it, it like this, or the, the reason why I'm doing it like this is um, that way we get lots of wall surface level so that the aquifer can drip down. Well, so for the water flow to go and move my water wheels down here i need this to be sufficiently full with water right so i counted how much space this is because the water is going to drop from here fall on the statue here sprinkle down two levels for some reason i don't know why i did that two levels um sprinkle down here flow down this way and then get pumped up again using pumps to this level Right, and I need to fill these level with water. So it keeps going. But technically I need to actually fill this as well, so we might need need to need even more space than that. In the end. Come to think of it. So this might not even be enough. We'll see. We'll see. Oh no 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 no. No, no 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 no. It's it's not um enough aquifer for that i don't even know if this back here is aquifer i actually know it might actually not be aquifer yet so this might actually not work well i mean it'll still work because it's the, the space but it's probably not enough space actually because i don't think it's actually aquifer yeah it hasn't alerted yet so that's kind of eh <laughs> So this might actually not even work. We'll see. So to build... So I've never... I've done... I've only done hand-operated pumps. But I guess it's the same, right? Because you just, you just assign stuff to it. Power. Uh, select the liquid flow direction. Water flows from the adjacent input tile. Okay. Hi, Corbu. Hello, hello. 
Why was making a creek yesterday? You went under the aquifer and used the ram to dig lines up into it. Ooh, I guess that could work too, yeah. We want this one then. I just need to check because I don't remember what you need for a screw pump. Oh, this is so cool. You know what this reminds me of right now? Like, of all of the crazy um, shenanigans that you can do in Oxygen Not Included. With, like, weird machines and that sort of stuff. This is exactly what this reminds me of. It's tickling my brain. In a good way. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh boy. What happened? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I know what happened. It's the first of granite. So Nap Kingo, Mexico, and Data the Order have been found dead. Cause it's that time of year again. Is there electricity in this? No. No, no. What do people play on stream? I realize that ram tools probably hard to understand even the stairs at this point. Why? Mm. I find it very obvious because if you dig down, you just dig a ramp from this level to the next. And if you build a ramp, you build a ramp from this level up. Oh no. But no, there's no, there's no electricity. I find the channel tool a little bit more confusing. Because when I hear that, like, um, I find this clear because it's shaped like the, um, it's shaped like the stairs. So that makes sense to me. The channel tool, the, because, so the way I interpret this drawing is that it makes a channel on this Z level. But it doesn't actually breach down to the next set level. Because it has this little... And it's but it's because it has this little... Connect... Like, it doesn't go all the way down. Like, the slopes don't go all the way down. And that's why, for me... When I first saw it, I thought... Oh, it's just going to make a channel on this set layer. But not on this. You saw people designate multiple level of ramps. Oh, so like just to make it even. That would be a steep ramp. <laughs> that would be a steep ramp. Holy moly. That would be a very steep ramp. Well, we just ran out of our. Well, we ran out is not the right word. Um, we just we just lost our tavern keeper. Uh, to old age. So we need a few more uh, burial chambers here. Yeah, that would basic. That would be uh, that would be a very steep ramp. Who? <laughs> yeah, the cha the channel tool, the drawing itself for me is a little bit less obvious. Uh, license to dab. Hi, dwarf style of old age. They do. Yes, they do. They do. Usually, when it's the first of the year and you have somebody finding dead dead dwarfs, it's usually um, it's usually old age. But yeah, they can live. To like 200 plus years, but generally speaking, yeah, they do indeed die. Unfortunately, you can't. Once, once, once you click on them, you, it doesn't tell you how old they were before. But yeah. Um. Do they just turn to star? No, no. They do not. They die. Hi, make fear. Trials make ramp on a level below, and ramp is make it on current level. Um, no. The difference is, and this is like not very obvious. If you if you use the channel tool like this, they will dig a. They'll, they will still dig down to the level below, but you'll have a slope and a ramp on all sides. So you'll have you'll have slopes up that way and that way. If you do it like if you do it like this. We'll have slopes up from the level below to to all all around like this, and a ramp will just be because you can just do it like you can just do it like you just dig it here like that. 
well, it's not doing it properly, but um, it's just it's just one tile down. Yeah, it removes the current layer and breaches down. Both of them do. It's just channels give you more slopes on all sides. Yeah, ramp, ramp, ramp removes it. Yeah, ramp, ramp goes up. Sorry. Uh, yeah, because you can you can dig. You dig a ramp going up. So you dig it. You so digging a ramp up from here connects that to the the tile above. But you can only dig it into solid ground, so it uses the whatever solid layer there is. And if you already dug one something out, but you still want a ramp, you build a ramp up. That's how it works. So you can just build up, and then then you have a ramp going up. Yeah, ramp breaches up, channel breaches down. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's not super intuitive, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's how that works. So, okay, I need to go here real quick. I need to stop that garbage dump. I need to. Wolf Order itself is not, no, it's not. That's true, that's true. No, sorry, it's not, it is also not, that's true, yeah. But it's fun, yeah, exactly. Learning, learning is happening, chat. Because I want those stones out of here. Yeah, we haven't even breached the aquifer back here. So I'm going to close this off. Yeah, we don't actually breach the aquifer yet here. Actually, that we can stop. We don't care about that. Yeah, we want a wall here. And then a wall here. You played back in the day considering getting into the Steam version now. You don't remember a lot of the details. Stuff has also changed since then, right? That's also important to remember. Stuff has changed quite a bit since, like... If you played pre-2014, um, stuff was very different. Are they just jumping down sometimes? Are you just being numpties jumping down? It looks like it almost. They, they still. Why are you not making my otter statues? Probably still. Uh, steel bars. Robau has created a Lakal Nikik, a Cassiterite mug. He claims it as a family heirloom. May have been DF2014 that you used to play most. If you played DF2014, that's actually still what this version is based on. Yeah, gold statues. Heck yeah! Gold statues, let's go. Um But yeah, I don't think they still I don't think they still have done it. For the most smug one, yeah. I don't think they've done it. Buffer, borax, steel, steel bar, cloth, stamp, uh, plant cloth, steel bar, steel bars. Needs more bituminous coal. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, you did uh, a new end back for reasons. You right now you have giant otters on your map. Oh, yay! That's awesome. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to make that. All right, let's read, let's read about the mug. You have 130 iron bars. Dang. A winner cold. This is a considerate mug. All craftsmanship is, of course, of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of iron. This object menaces with spikes of water buffalo bone, kiwi leather, moose leather, and rose quartz. On the item is this image of six-sided long... Wait, wait, wait. On the item is an image of six-sided, long six-sided prisms and cassiterite. 
On the item is an image of Silver Justice Rain, the troglodyte in dwarves in Water Buffalo Baron. Silver Justice Rain is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the rise of the troglodyte Silver Justice Rain as an enemy of the Gold of Reverences in the early summer of the year 6 during the rampage of the troglodyte Silver Justice Rain in Fur Wires. On the item is also an image of Ilral Assault Tour, the dwarves, and dwarves in Rose Quartz. Uh, Ilral Assault Tour is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf Ilral Assault Tour to the position of king of the Gold of Reverences in 176. Well, there you go. Hi, actual Adam! Oh, you, you, you took your kid to the zoo this week and she picked out an otter toy to take her home. Aww, cute! Uh, you lost 70 something dwarves to a were lizard. Ooh, yeah, we had so far in this fort uh, two werebulls, a were chinchilla, and a were squirrel. Say hello. Uh, pig iron, borax, rough jam, borax, steel bars, steel bars, warhammer. Okay, so it's not technically that you can't make these gold statues. I just want you to make a gold statue of an otter! Darn it! <laughs> That's all. Because... Yeah, you made... You made gold statues, but these are all not of otters, darn it. Can all animals in the after office wears? Yeah. A titan isn't a uh, an animal. So I'm uh, pretty sure a titan cannot, not not bars, show up as a wear titan. I think that's mutually exclusive. You get the magnifier to pick what statues to depict. I know, I know. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for them to make my giant otter statue. <laughs> we uh, we specified an image uh, of a giant otter admiring stones and laughing, but. Yeah. Uh, they haven't yet made it. First, we had no coal. I think now. Did I select bedrooms? No, I didn't. There we go. All right. Tombs created. Good, good, good. There we go. Yeah, we need more borax. We need more steel. We need bituminous coal. Nothing about the gold statues star being a problem. So I don't know what's going on there. By the way, this sound was this was just me mining around, by the way. Yeah, that's really odd. That is really, really, really odd. Oh, there's bituminous coal here. Cool. All right, let's go. Let's go get the coal. Because I need more of it. The cats are afraid, afraid of Velcro. I mean, it's loud. So I can't blame him. Velcro is pretty loud. Might be odd, but it could be odder. Yep. G G. So the problem is definitely not fluxstone and hematite because we have loads of that. So it's, it's probably just coal again. That's the problem, which uh, I'm actually not surprised by. But this is all limestone. So we do have flux. We have lots of flux on this map. The bull 
Moose. Oh, there's a moose! Apparently. Well, there was a moose, rather. So yeah, I don't know why they're not making the specified gold statues. I wish you could. This would be searchable. I'm just gonna cancel the 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 unspecified gold statues because this is just yeah. This is just a one-time order. So, as long as we have everything, they should try to do it. But right now we're lacking steel, borax, and coal. Oh, they're probably not doing it because we don't have coal. Duh. Oh, oh God. Ugh. What the? Alright. The Forgotten Beast, Stozu Zorzom Ongasetu, has arrived. A great flycatcher with external ribs. It has a spiral shell and it belches and croaks. Its golden yellow feathers are long and broad. Beware its noxious secretions. What is a flycatcher? So it has a shell. Uh, I think it can fly. It stores a wisp fiend, the dreamy hood. 487 years old. It's clumsy. So that's good. I mean, it definitely sounds dangerous, but, uh, well. Good night, Galactic Red Dragoon. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful night's rest. See, well, flycatchers are small birds. Oh, are they? Oh yeah, apparently so they are. Huh. I wonder what they're called in German. The old world flycatchers are a large family of small preserving birds restricted to the old world, Europe, Africa, and Asia, with the exception of several vagrants of two spe species, but also North America. Okay, what well, are they in German? All right, never mind. Also, have never heard. It's basically the same name. Never heard of them. All right, cool. Yeah. So it's a flying shell bird with external ribs. Yeah. Let's go. I guess. Let's see. Oh, noxious secretions. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. That's gonna be fun to deal with. Not. Yeah, never heard of them either. Q compare. They're probably just like a generic songbird, I would assume. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, where's my army? Um, you're not part of the army. Where is my army? Oh, you're. Oh, you. Turn around. Turn around. Oh no. Oh boy, it's so fast. It's like. Vroom. Oh, yep. That dwarf's dead. Okay, hey, there's the army. All right, let's see. Let's see. What happens? So I'm doing, I'm doing like, uh, uh, frame by frame. Hi, Zy4 F. It's already bleeding. Healthy, healthy. Bleeding. Okay, I think we're okay. I don't think it's super strong. My dudes are still healthy and it's already bleeding. Let's see. It can't stand anymore. Or just fractured. Bruised. Upper leg is fractured. Head is bruised. Wing is bruised. Guts are bruised. 
Noctris is not that bad. It just destroys... Last high arrow. Hello, hello. All right, I'm going to unpause. It's going to go real quick, I think. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's dead. Injured. Okay, you're a little bit injured. Stressed. Healthy, healthy. One person got injured. Oh, no. Oh, crap. He started rotting immediately. His stuff is rotten. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, God. Gotcha, gotcha, Zyphor. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, poor... Globo, not the gobbo. So... So this rotten stuff, can they wash that off with water or do they need soap? Yeah, they do, case face, yeah. Or do we need soap for that? Oh, alert. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Okay, you're washing up the blood, so that's good. I don't know. How is this open space? There's a literal... I, I put a floor there. How is this open space? I, I, I swear I put a floor there. How does it keep happening? They don't even cutting trees here. How does that keep happening? Okay. Oh god, you are... Generating miasma already. Ugh. Yeah, the thing is, so I'm not cutting trees up here. That's the thing. Eh. So they're gonna they're gonna generate miasma. I know it gets remembered as open space, but I mean, just fine. But I swear I put a roof on it. Yeah, we have three miasma people. Needs cleaning, needs surgery. Can they clean with just water, or do I need to have soap? I probably need to have soap, right? Water is enough. Make them necromancers. Well, the problem is not them being a necromancer, but rather... Um... Uh, do it with water. Okay, so just wait. Gotcha. I should probably set up soap anyways, to be fair. It has something to do with sand and soil tiles. Maybe, yeah. I know I put a I know I put a put a tile on it. But honestly, right now this is not the worst thing because the miasma can escape. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just did that, Tylana. I, I know how to do so soap. I just haven't bothered yet. I've done soap before. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, in this, uh... In this fort. Make lie. If the amount of lie is less than 30. Uh, soap in the transport just decreases the chance. Otherwise, soap just give a cleaning buff. Okay, cool. Make lie. Make soap from tallow. Thirty and then thirty. And then we want to get actual soap maker workshop going. Probably platy. Probably, yeah. I would assume so. Mizar 
Mate, it's such large badges that you never feel the need to automate it. Really? You don't automate? I automate... I automate it, so it's like I set it and forget it, basically. Subtitle won't work because it looks at bars. You sure? Oh, did I make... Did I make click? Oh. Oh. That's why it didn't work before. Thank you. I didn't even look at that. That's why it didn't work in the last thingy. Oh, it's just... Oh, God. I suppose what I could set up is... Um, water buffalo soap. There we go. Under... Adjective to soap containing. That works too. Thank you. And hey, uh, flag for go. Yeah, it has soap. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh... Ah, soap items. That's so silly. I mean, I get it, but that's also kind of silly. <laughs> All right, got it. I guess it's just because it's a bar, so it gets lobbed in with all the other ingots, bars. Just a Dwarf Fortress quirk, right? Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Oh boy. <laughs> Night night, Zamana. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah, we need lie. Lie is... Okay, they're already working on it at the Ashery. Alright, cool. Hydrate. Cheers. Yes, I should hydrate. Thank you. Well, it's because it's a game made not by game designers, right? It is. Oh. I wonder if they just died. Because they're no longer in the hospital. And yeah, that was a lot of surgery. Yeah, no, that's correct. No, this is correct. Yeah, one night there, yeah, they didn't die. They just buggered off somewhere. Because that is correct. Because we had 200 at the start of the year. And then two people died from old age on the first day of the year and then we had that one person who got got by the forgotten beast so they're just stinking up the place somewhere basically i just don't know where they are but they're stinking up the place somewhere <laughs> but you know what that's okay with me they can just go and do that and I can tell that they're doing it because the FPS is a bit iffy. <laughs> mm hmm. They up some dirt in their wounds, took a few more and went to get some booze. I mean, can't blame them. <laughs> can't blame them, to be quite honest. Right? Yeah, they just went somewhere.
Yeah, and I say for drinking, exactly. Did we do the gold statues? No! They reminded the hospital staff's water and went to get a second opinion. They still haven't done that. Yeah. So tedious. But I wish you could like split this up a bit more. This needs work, I think. Still the work order top, top but yeah. They remembered rum cues, what else? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh god, I clicked the stocks button. This is dangerous, chat. Now we do have charcoal. And we definitely have gold bars. So they can definitely do it. Unless I suppose the charcoal's already been grabbed by somebody else. Yeah, see, gold statue is now at the top, so we'll see. We'll see. How good are our engravers by now, by the way? Let's see. Master engraver. Talented and skilled. Nice. Nice. You love to make soap IRL. Yeah, yeah. Could be fun. Okay, they have started hauling the stuff. Alright, hopefully... Yeah, I guess they're fine now? I don't know. So odd. Also, there's still plum wine everywhere. Okay, sure. Why not? I mean, why not, right? No, Tariq, we haven't. But that's because we don't really get visitors. We don't really get visitors. Uh, siege operator. Sure. You, you're a siege operator turned tavern keeper. Competent speaker, competent musician. Let's go. Otterberger. There you go. Competent dancer. Behex. Competent musician. All right, let's go. There we go. Let's assign some actual people. Maybe we can force a tavern party. Um... Uh, We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. True, Steve-o, but uh, uh, rum is definitely not a stimulant. <laughs> the ADHD medication is. No, nah, the rum is not. <laughs> and yeah, that's definitely something you should not mix. Hey, Gary! Hello, hello. How are you today? Nope, I haven't made the floor grades yet either. Good morning. Hello, hello. Mistakes have been made. You lost your entire mil military. Rip! Oh no. Oh no. Rip indeed. Oh. Are we making soap? soap all right cool we're making soap very nice the rum is the cure oh i see i see oh but if you get it come in here gary you'll just get shouted out you'll just get shouted out that's just how it goes
Yeah, I'm doing alright. I definitely, definitely had a an ADHD brain this morning. Like took a took a really long time to like get somewhere. You get my cognitive processes actually processing and working properly, but um this is better now. And thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. No, I'm doing I'm doing alright now. Yeah. Hey H2O, you just retired your fort. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get stuck in a pickup equipment, terrified of forgotten bees loop. Uh... Ah, that sucks. That is a freaking bummer. Alright, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Gold statue of a river otter! Let's go, baby! Yay! Finally! I just wanted a freaking gold statue in the middle of my mist generator. And that's all. That's all, okay? Yay! I bet I look like a proper river otter as well. Let's go. Alright, uh, we'll let them do that real quick. Because I need to... Right, clear this again. Oh, come on. You can see the bit at the bottom of the staircase. Lesson learned. Ah. Yeah, mine goes semi-straight down, but not all the way. So, this one goes down till here and then there is like a sort of a gap in between and then this goes down 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 all the way to minus 104 and then we have more defenses set up no migrants this season yes that's fine obviously this doesn't help i mean this this bridge if i raise it that will protect us against a forgotten beast but the traps are for other shenanigans but the otter statue in a prominent place. Well, so the otter statue, uh, there it is. Oh, it is in the middle of my tavern, and we are in the process of setting up a mist generator in the middle of my uh, tavern, which I've never done. This is a gold statue of a river otter. The item is a rendition of the neutrality of treaties, an image of a river otter and stones. The river otter is admiring the stones. The river otter is laughing. The image was commissioned by the Gleeful Roughness, a local dwarven government. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. They do like their stones, yep. Um, okay, so before I add the water into this mix... Let's see, so... Down here... No. Up here, right? Because the, the water wheels are not going to be directly in the water. They're going to be on the layer above the water, right? That's how that works. Um. Hey, thank you for the follow. Oh, now we're in order. Uh, hello, hello. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. You just got a text from your dentist. Guess you made an appointment at 2.30 and didn't realize. Oops. Oopsie. Not, not, I would never do something like that, Platy. No, no, I would never forget something like that. <laughs> and hey, thank you for the follow there. I appreciate it. Hi, Kanguru. Hello, hello. What needs to be one above the water? Water wheels. That would, that would make sense, at least, to me. A wheel made out of water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Definitely, that's definitely what it is. Wanda did it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Pale right. I think Pale right has got it. I think Wanda did it. You've never used them, so I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm. We're go we're going. We're going next level. Trying to. Two thirty at two thirty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, Timby. Oh no, I completely didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh no. Um, we're trying to set up a mist generator with a, a mist, yeah, a mist water, like yeah, a mist generator with a perpetual self-energizing power generator, basically. Yeah, yeah, I did that too, H2O. It's really, really, really cool. I hate the dentist so much. I hate it. I hate the dentist so much. So much. Ah! Anyways. Yeah. I feel her. I feel her. Mm-hmm. Theoretically, dude, half of my fort is like um uh dwarfs from my last fort. Mm-hmm. The dentist is super nice. I don't care, dentists still suck. So the screw pump right that right like that right runs from the adjacent input tile and from the tile below the input tile so like that okay I need a screw trap and a workshop uh, and a pipe thingy yeah 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 Yeah, I've only, I've only made bad, uh, I've only had bad thing, uh, bad interactions with dentists. Let's not go into it, but like, cause I know some people also feel the same, but yeah. So, ooh. How do you... Where do you make a water wheel? Is that at a carpenter? That's probably a carpenter, right? That would make sense. Nope. Oh, you just need gear for it. Ah, gear. I see, I see. Oh, what is it? Is it serrated... It can't fight in the air. You need to have ah. Oh, you need to build it next to a gear. Ow! I say. I mean that that logically speaking, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so there you go. That does make a lot of sense. Uh, he here here. Is it in the middle? It's probably in the middle, right? of it i would assume yeah that that makes logical sense hmm. 
Cool. Buttspot has forgotten its thingy. Saying Buttspot no go, by the way, doesn't make it, like, not do that. Like, not, not do it so frequently. You just have to set the frequency again. Just FYI. Buttspot yes and Buttspot no doesn't actually influence its behavior at all. So... To transfer... Because the, so the pump will be, the pump will be here. So I can't build that yet, obviously, because I don't have the things yet. So the pump will be here. Do I just have to use gear components to... Oh, there are axles. Wait. Let's try power on the same elevation. They can be... Okay. But so they can be like that or like that. But I assume to do a corner, you need another gear assembly. Yeah, gotcha. So I probably need another one of these. Yeah, all right. Do I need to rotate them or do they go in any direction or could I because I have this like there can I just connect it like this like, is that connected they go in any direction from an axle so yes okay cool 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 All right, so the pump will be there. Right, cause, cause just, yeah, this is how it goes. And then it connects there, right? And then the output is on the other side, I think. Hey, thanks for the follow, welcome, welcome. Hi, Dad. Not my birthday, but hi. Hello. Right, because it's the adjacent tile from below. So then water goes up. It goes in here. So I can block it off there. And then water won't come through. Can dwarves walk well, over the... Morning, everybody, and welcome to the cult. P.S. It's my birthday. Yay! No, it's not my birthday. Don't trust chat. Can dwarves walk, o walk over the uh, axles or not? It's not my birthday. No, 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 my birthday. Not my birthday. Don't trust chat. Chat lies. <laughs> chat lies. It's not my birthday. Just saying. Not my birthday. It's always my birthday. No, incorrect. It's not. It's not. So yeah, don't trust chat. And that's all I'm saying. All right, cool. So if this, once this is in water, it'll move, it'll it'll make this move and go. It's so totally my birthday. No, it's not. This should work, yeah. Five months until my birthday. Four, actually. Well, four, four months and like two weeks plus a few days. Yeah, because it's already January. And my birthday is in May. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. And then the water comes out back here, right? So I will be able to block this off here. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just, um, this is the first time I'm like messing about with this, so I'm learning. Oh, can they not walk over gears or did this get suspended? No. You're starting early. Yeah. Not really. Happy early birthday? No, that's bad luck. Oh, 
Oop, Babby. No, no Babby. What's happening? No Babby. Babby! Near Roxon has a Babby. No, not my birthday today. Come on. Come oh, they're, on, they're, they're mom, doing it cleverly. Mommy, Never mind. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Mom, mom. Okay, so... I need an access point back here. And that's where this is. Do I want to make this bigger? It probably doesn't need to be bigger. Wait. Oh, crap. So, wait. Axles are also horizontals, right? No, no, axle. Sorry. Gear assemblies. Gear assemblies are omnidirectional, right? So, if at this level, I put another gear assembly there... If once I dig dig a hole through this, this works. Okay, good, 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 good. I do actually need to close this off then. I think. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, I have to dig a hole. What's the supposed water flow? Uh, water comes out here. So this is an aquifer. We'll make a big reservoir of water. Then we open a floodgate. That's going to go here. Then the water is going to... Whoopsie, sorry. Go in the wrong direction. The water is going to go through this hole. This also is going to get closed off. Uh, eventually. Water is going to go through this hole. Hit the statue. Go through the grates. Go down here. Fall two levels down. Flow to the left. Where it'll spin this water wheel. And then the water wheel... Uh works the pumps that get the water back up here and then it's just gonna flow around forever and ever and ever it's gonna fall two levels down go two levels up two levels down two level up and that should work with one water wheel uh at least according to chat <laughs> in theory yeah in theory this should work practically we'll see in theory this should work you said nothing. Oh, you said everything. You said everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, does that... Well, yes. Yes. Yeah. The dwarves are... Have literally... Well, it's, it's not even just a perpetual mobile. Because... You actually... Like, the pumps use less energy than the water wheel generates. So it's actually, um, uh, gears and axles consume a little bit of power. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you actually gain energy in the end. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a little bit magical. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's woven science, yeah. Exactly. It runs on chaos, that too. That too. Let's dig this. That's correct for that, yes. And then this also needs to be dug. And then... Another one goes. Yeah. Hi, Sci-Fi Alex. Hello, hello. It goes well. We are we are starting to play with some water. Uh huh. We're starting to play with water and pumping and automated water pumping and all sorts of funky things. I'm sure sooner or later there will also be fun. 
involved. <laughs> Probably, I would reckon. All right, that's that. And then we need a wall here and a wall here and then eventually also a wall here but that's later and then we go up one higher and that's the water access here and then this also needs to get dug out so I guess we'll just dig out that for now and then we'll see if this actually will work or whatnot because then we have more things to do yeah we have more things to do because <laughs> this is actually not what we want to happen there what we want to do is actually like dig an access point like hmm like that well good for you Dan Peel hello good for you all right, and then allow this. This is complicated. This is going to break my brain eventually, but that's okay. It's okay, you know, for funsies. I don't even know if this is going to work. Don't even know if this is going to work. Okay, gear assembly up here. And the gear assembly here. And then axles. There. And then... That's actually not what we want. Sort of. We will close this off. And we will close this off. Sorry, I'm just I'm just kind of thinking out loud almost a little bit to see how I want to access what. And then we'll dig through here and access like that. Because we want the water to go this way. We have a safety floodgate to activate the stop and f uh, the f to stop the flow and drain. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I haven't gotten that far yet. Mm -hmm. You really want pizza today? I don't know what I want for food. We'll see. Because the math I did earlier actually is incorrect. High index gnome, because I need so much more water. I think. Yeah, that's uh, not smart, Dunpeel. <laughs> that's not a good idea. Because that can very much lead to a lot of clogging. Uh, clogging. And blockage. It's not a good idea. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. They're probably like, "Hey, did you know?" <coughs> Sneeze. Yes. No. Hey, did you know there is um 
water where you're trying to dig. And I'm like, yes, I know, please dig it. Please dig it. Ah, oh, this is so tedious. Because every time they dig it, it's going to be like... Blurrup. And you can't turn this off. No, I'm not strip mining. I Well, I am accessing the aquifer. Yeah, that would be so good, wrap out. Agreed. If you could opt in to ignore this. You mind up? Do you not? If you mine up, do you not get the get the alerts like this? Will they still do it? It doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay, doesn't trigger the mess. Just good to know for the future. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they can they can prove that you were the cause, Dunpeel. You couldn't kill the warnings with DF hack. DF hack doesn't work yet for the Steam version, so can't do it. Well, you can ramp up. Yeah, no, no, no. You would ramp up. To so dig up, you would ramp up. This is tedious. Very tedious. Also interesting how it's not really producing new water over here, but I guess it's because this is technically not aqua. I mean, this is not aquifer again. Mm hmm. Like an aquifer and whack-a-mole, yeah. I wish I could just be like, just ignore it. Just ignore it. Bless. How much moving water, like how deep does the moving water need to be for a water wheel to work? Does it need to be seven? Is oil a thing in Dwarf Fortress? Uh, plant oil is for cooking and making soap, but not oil as in fuel. Not seven, but close. Okay, that's that's good to know. Also not as a liquid, that's true. It has to count as flowing, okay. This is gonna be interesting, chat. It was an aquifer, so like a water block in Minecraft. Sort of. So an aquifer is a layer in the ground that is that has water in it. And it will continue, like in, in, in uh, Dwarf Fortress, it will continuously leak water. Uh, the only liquids liquids that exist like that in the game, awesome, is water and uh, magma. Like there is no other types of flowing liquid like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a geological term, aquifer. These also exist in, in real life. And they're basically just a layer in the ground that have water in it. That has water in it, sorry. What, 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 grammar. Grammar. I'm, I'm grammaring well today. Yeah. No, a river of blood is not an option.
That's where the water table is. Nah, not quite, because there's groundwater, and then there's aquifers, because you can have locked-in aquifers. It gets a bit more complicated than just it's the, it's the water table, but close, yeah. It's basically if you have like um, like an aquifer that you can dig into, basically what you generate is a spring and a well. Yeah. Rivers of Blood might be an object in the Myth and Magic updates. I'm sure uh, if that's the case, the community will make it, will find a way to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure. Remember when the open cast mining in Hamburg in Germany hit an aquifer, almost drowned the entire hole in a week? Yeah, aquifers can have a lot of water in it. And it can be under a lot of pressure as well. I hope you're doing well, Neil. It's good to see you. Hello, hello. One day we'll get this mined. Mm-hmm. One day. We're almost there. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. No, oh, no, we're getting twos over here now. And over here. That's good. That's what we want. Oh, that none of these have leaked up here at all. Or here. You're doing well. Nice. Or I wonder... I wonder if because we have dwarves walking through this, do they pick up the water? I wonder... If that's the case, they might do. My town stays not sure about other liquids. You have to think about mixing and interactions, like overflowing over water. Oh god, yeah, that sounds... I mean, of course they would go that far. Of course they would go that far, but that also sounds crazy. Hey, Stefan, it's been a long time. Yeah, hi, how's it going? Hello, hello. They weren't really hiding, Dan Peel. They were trapped. <laughs> That's... I don't know. I think they were making a... They're working on it, but yeah. I know. All right, there we go. Cool. What are you doing? Why are you in here, little child? Are you holding? You try to dig around the light aquifer. Yeah, you can have um, you can have aquifers that span the entire map uh, layer if you're unlucky. Um, Alana, also hi, good morning, good to see you. Hello, hello. Life changes a lot sometimes. That it sure does. I had a couple of map spanning ones and I just went like, yeah, nope, I'm good. Anti map level and some Z levels too. Yeah, that's what I have had. It was a light one, but I just, I just went like, no, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to deal with this one. I just got to start a new fort. And that's what I did. Another whole map, dang. That is quite a bit. Second one was on break, that's alright. If they make blood and liquid water, like water, you would be have to fear pitch brewing down I love. Being pushed around with blood pressure and battles. Well, I mean you would need a lot of blood for that. Maybe out of a forgotten beast, potentially, but like Considering the average amount of blood in a human being, that's really not enough to make more than just a puddle. Mm-hmm. Just get them out to get rid of them entirely? Yeah. Is there a thunder ambience you're hearing? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No migrants this season. That makes a lot of sense. Hi, Johnny. Hello, hello. The mayor has been re-elected. That's good. 
We'll use this for the screw press. Five liters is not a lot. Exactly. Exactly. Like, you would need to... You would need to... Murder a lot of dwarves to have a river of... And a lot of elves and mermaids and all of the other things. To get a river of blood going. That would be a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. You could probably do it. You could probably do it. But, like... I don't know. That would be a that that would be a lot. <laughs> no problem, Stefan. Have a good one. Long Death had enough kills for it. It better. And then con uh, conceal it, uh, concealment as well. So let's just stick to lava. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love how this dwarven child already has a gray beard. That is so dwarven. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh no, wait, no. Never mind. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. All good. Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. What's the problem with the greats? that up the smelt hematite ore we should be doing that hey again a uh, guru now oh, we have 55 iron bars we have iron grates what the heck No access to great. I am. So confused. Wait, I do have to do that, don't I? <laughs> Good point. No, I ha I forgot to do that. I forgot to do that. Good point. I need a channel first. La 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 la. I asked chat and they didn't say anything. But no, you're right. I need to do that. Woo! Make a hole in the ground. Don't, don't make the child fall through the hole, please. Please don't fall through there. Thank you. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's okay. I, the, the top is fine. It's okay. What is the problem with the grates? There we go. What the heck? Where's the rest of the... Is the pillar all the way to the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even then, this area is also still connected. Where? Why? What? It can't. It 
It counts on stored ones. Sure. Why? Why? It is a one-time order, though. But also, why? <laughs> but why, though? But why, though? Wait. Where did I go? Did I not get it? Oh. Gavens are a regular occurrence in your force because you're lazy and forgetful. What? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my god, the engravers are still not done with this. Hilarious. Hey! Has! Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you so much for coming on over! Hello, everybody! Welcome! Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming on over, <clears throat> everybody. I really appreciate it. How's it goes, Battle Brothers? That's a fantastic game. I need to play that again. It's been so long. Thank you so much for coming on over. Uh, I'm FG. If you don't know who I am, hello, hello, hello. Uh, lovely to meet you all. I normally play quite a wide variety of... Um, mostly indie games. Being kind of stuck in Dwarf Fortress for a while recently. And uh, here we are. Thank you so much for coming on over. I hope you're doing well. And thank you so heckin' much for the raid. You really appreciate it. How goes Battle Brothers? Oh, practice run, but otherwise it went pretty well. Nice. That's awesome. Where did the Iron Grades go now? Oh my lord, what is happening? This would be so cool if you could, like, just search this or have they actually done it now they may have actually done it now we'll see uh thank you so much for coming on over though i really 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 appreciate it we're, we're playing with fluids right now um i'm trying to build what is uh called a mist generator because dwarves like looking at mist so we're trying to do that around this wonderful otter statue and uh, yeah we're, we're giving it our best oh look at that the water is slowly flowing i just need to math out how many tiles this is and then see if that's enough water or not nice and misty indeed we'll have to see it's gonna take a little bit to fill up but we'll try our best Indeed. Okay, let's not make the, the dwarves fall in. So I'm pretty, I'm still a pretty new player. I've played less than a um, hundred hours of this game. So uh, there's lots of stuff that we're still learning. Hi, Rollet. No bards. No bards. Sorry. No bards, because we're on an island, so nobody can get to us. Yep, no bards. Correct. I swear, did the iron grates just disappear now? You're in a pickle? Oh, what you do, Finnan? No, there they are. What happened? What you do? There we go. All right. Put those at the top and see if they can get to those first. Please. We'll see. And apparently I'm making noises today while I'm drinking. Forgotten bees appear in your cabin is now camping your underground farm area. Well, time to fight or die. Mm-hmm. We'll 
We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. You have ended a mandate. All right. The emu is fighting. Jesus. Are they just battle emus? Okay, there's no more emus outside. Okay. Okay. Did anybody? Nobody wants. Hmm. I went through this. The arduous task of capturing all those critters and nobody wants them as pets. I am. I am not pleased with you right now. Forgotten beasts are not that strong if you overwhelm them with numbers. Unless they can shoot webs or are made of fire. Yeah. Or if they're technically... Um, are... Uh, you know, made out of iron or something like that. No, they're pets. What if they're wielding a sock as a weapon? I know, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the forgotten... No, not the forgotten beast. The Etten that we had earlier was wielding a robe. They were wielding a robe, so that was fun. Just make the gosh darn great! Plus... But what if the sock is on fire? But what if the sock is on fire? Yeah, that's a good point. I just need to double check something real quick. Okay, good. Look at that! Precious water! It's almost reached this tile. And I need to math how much of all of these there is. We'll see. Yeah, that's just that. Needs borax. Borax, 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 borax. Steel bars. Hmm. Oh, you made an iron grate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we're doing it now. Good. There's a hole in the tavern. Yes, on purpose. That's where the mist generator goes. So we need four grates. So the water can go through there. So the water will come through here. Fall through the hole in the in the ceiling, hit the statue, thus generate mist. Then it'll go through the floor grates, back into the reservoir, and then it gets back pump uh, back uh, pump back up again. And then I'll just continuously circle and generate mist. Hope that's my hope at least. That's the goal. But we need this all to fill up. So while we're waiting for them to make more floor grates. Let's count. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 32, 34. 34 times 3, that's 102. 104, 106, 108, 110, 102. And then we've got five times two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. That's sixty-five, a hundred and seventy-seven. It's not enough. Wait, did I see... Wait. Oh, did I say times three? Why did I say times three, not times six? Yeah, it's times six. I don't know. Never mind. No, no, no. It's times six. You're right. Why did I say times three? 
Also, it's not 33. It's 37. Not 33. 37. 38? 36? I don't remember. I don't even remember anymore. Gosh darn it. But it's times 6, not times 3. Why did I say that? I don't know. Was that 34? I think I was gonna do it times three and then just time like times two and then add this. Okay, so that's two hundred four. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah. It was a test if chat was paying attention. Yeah. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34. Yeah, it's 34 times 6. I don't know why I said 3. Yes. So it's 204, 6, 8, 10, 214 plus 5 times 13, which is 65. So it's 269. Nice. That is still not enough water, though. To fill everything, so it's high enough, so the water wheel actually does get pushed. So we're gonna make this smaller. Around 79. Oh, yeah, 279, because it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not 204. I looked at 204 in the chat, but it's 214. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's not. Yeah, but I looked at chat. Because it said 204. Because it didn't count the 10 extra bit. Yeah, yeah. 279. It's still not enough, though. As soon as the water recycles, the level doesn't matter anymore. No, no, no. It does, it does matter. No, no, no. It does matter. Because... Um, it uses, it uses screw pumps and water power and this water wheel needs to, needs to move. And for the water wheel to move, I need certain levels going because I need to get the water flowing at that particular level. So I can't just fill it up. I need to have it be enough flowing water to start circling. And I can't just fill it up halfway and then dump more. I don't think that's going to work. This might not even uh, work. Yeah. Well, it's not It's not about evaporating. It's not even about evaporating. It's about having uh, deep enough water to make the water wheel go. How's the well? Should be quite well. Oh yeah, still way, way enough water in there. Yeah, all, all is well. Oh, responding to can we do in two batches? I mean, I suppose we could do a smattering at the fl at the at the bottom. We could do that. Yes. That is true. We could do that. We could let it in. We could let this in and then another, but. I mean, if this is between two and three, we could let it go. And let it do its thing. It's still smart enough to. It's smart, a smart idea to close this all off. Mr. as soon as it crashes onto something. Yeah. Uh, so, well, a waterfall will generate mist. Uh, or just something splashing will generate mist. Um, and uh, the best, the easiest way to just, like, to not have it just splash on the floor is just to splash it on a statue in the end. We 
still haven't gotten the animals inside, by the way. But we're working on it. <laughs> we're not even halfway covered. Oh, this is hilarious. I love it. I love it. I'll eat all the cookies. I might do. I have no idea how the cave weed got in there, but all right, sure. It qualifies as a mega project. I think so, yes. So if I pull this. Okay. It flows really slowly. Yeah, because there's not even enough here yet. That might just be too much already. We'll see. I suppose we probably want the floor grade uh, going now, though. There we go. It's trickling. It's trickling. Mm-hmm. Very slowly. I think it's it was too early because I need to wait for all of this to be th two to three, level two to three, for it to spread properly. Yep, yep, that just grew in there. No idea how it did that. <laughs> I well, I guess no, because we it, mud started to generate because of the water, and then the fungus, fl uh, then the fungus. Um, grew on top of it yeah no we need to wait unfortunately we do have to wait fungus in the water supply well this is not drinking water this is just water for looking at this is this is water just for looking at this water is going to flow through the through the hole and then splash onto the statue and generate mist. I don't think it'll hit it though because we cut it off again. Yeah. We'll just have to patiently wait for a while. Normal time, Wasm. So at least another 90 minutes. No, because these are dwarves and they don't drink it. They don't drink water. Unless you force them to. Yeah, I assume the fountain is going to probably happen today. Ah, oh, not wrong button. There we go. Or if they're sick. Yeah, but nobody's sick. They'll, they'll just get sick again if there's another forgotten beast or something. Which, to be fair, might happen. We'll see. And if we generate mist and riven and mystery exile, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, this is just going to take a while. It now looks like as if all of these walls are actually an uh, uh, aquifer, but that's not the, that's actually not the case. That is, um, they're just the walls are just wet. Um, let's see. Actually, no, we go here.
it's a symbol for dampness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's just a wet wall, exactly. Because it doesn't show, like it do, it doesn't. That doesn't mean exactly. That's an aquifer. Just that the wall is wet, so it can be whatever. Oh, we do have that. Also, apparently, I can grow. Oh, is this because this was open? No, plum hammers also work. I can apparently do celery though. That's kind of cool. And long yam as well. That's pretty neat. Oh, the, the pun. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I got it. I, I got it. Oh my god, that wood is lying on top of the tree. That's great. That's great. Oh wow, this works. So far, this works. Okay, let's do this. While stuff is doing its thing. Stuff is doing its thing, sure. While the dwarves are doing their thing. And we wait a little bit for the water to drain. Hey, look at that, we're getting there. We're gonna name some more people because we, we definitely still have some dwarves that need names. Like the stone cutter here, for, for example. L. You are now a stone cutter. That's currently harvesting plants. Uh, we've got another farmer. We have so many farmers. Frostrum. We've got. Oh, come on, do the, do your thing, please. Thank you. Uh, the militia. Oh, a militia captain. That needs a name. Trunk. Why? Why is it so hard to type today? This is ridiculous. A bajillion herbalists, because they all just went out. J Sod, not J Sog. All right, J Sod. That works. Lack of bards? I don't think so. Gloomy. Aww. Gloomy, the legendary Tanner. Not sure what you expected from that. Sorry. I guess it's not super duper obvious what that could be, I suppose. But I don't think the, the the file tells you the response, right? Uh, yeah, I know Guns the Herbalist. 161 years old. Hot diggity dang. Not bad. Uh, basement dweller. Alright, awesome. I see how it is. So many herbalists. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. For some reason, my body today has just decided it's just gonna give up. Yes. Basement dweller, that's you. <laughs> and then last but not least. That was far. Uh, Zamana. And then everybody's an herbalist. So funny. Uh, fire vent. And uh, oh, well, let's uh, load that first, shall we? Or not load it, but save it. You know the opposite. <laughs> the other thing. Yeah, apparently you, uh, do you have dreams? Tell me a story. That's what you're saying right now. Mm-hmm. You were blissful remembering sleeping in a very good bedroom. You felt satisfied at work and euphoric due to inebriation. Felt fondness talking with an acquaintance. 
You apparently want to fight, though. Apparently you want to fight. So I gotta put you in the... In a squad. Because you want to fight. Well, we can we can do that, no problem. The question is just where the heck are you? It would be so cool if these lists were searchable. Hi, HG. Hello, hello. How are you today? You are. Was that draft during all day? I don't know. I guess being an herbalist, so planting and harvesting. Gunfeld, the grayish. Sure. All right. The whole idea of loyalty is pointless. Acting purely out of loyalty implies acting against one's best interests. Good to know. Uh, you're from Germany. If you visit Korea, that one place you can always remember German is actually a friendly greeting. It gives me often kicks. Aw, that's rude. You poor co worker. Well, I hope they never travel to Germany. That's mean. Wow, you poor co-worker. Oh god, we, ha we haven't even hit level 3 yet. We don't even have a... S oh no, 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 never mind. I was going to say we don't have a single 3 yet, but we do have some level 3s over here. Now we're getting a few. I just have to be patient. I just have to be patient, all right? We just, uh, patience. Patience. Mm hmm <sighs> Get on my biscuits. Yeah, it's, uh, you're annoying me. Yeah, yeah. Or you're getting on my nerves will probably be the best. Uh, uh. Um. Translation. That's the word. Sorry, took a second there. My brain stopped braining again. My brain wasn't braining. Then it started braining a little bit, and now it stopped braining again. No, 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 because it's not trickling through. Awesome. Sorry, it's going to take a while. Oh, no, that's not going to be anything down there yet. Because it hasn't even made it there. Because it just dried up and left uh, mud behind. I closed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was that was not enough. Gotcha, Steve. I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, it's mostly twos now, with a with a couple of uh, ones left, and then some fours in there. Uh, threes in there, not fours. Yeah, there's still some some one bobbling about. Well, ideally you want to wait till like a three. Mo we want we want to have at least most consistently a three everywhere, but it's slow. Definitely takes a while. All 
All right. We have so much food. This is ridiculous. But then I haven't. Yeah, I guess. I guess when the when the trade caravan comes, we just need to trade some food. I guess I know. I said I have lots of food, but we have we have apparently no fruit to brew drinks with. So I'm gonna get some fruit to make dr more drinks with. we getting there do we have legendary engravers yet yep yep we do <laughs> rigged beast is now a legendary engraver nice nice a human statue isn't annoying you oh here mm. no actually no, it's not a human statue. I mean, it is a human, but it's not a statue of a human, technically. It is a superiorly designed image of Baktua, the deity of the moon, the night, the stars, and theft, depicted as a female human in rock salt. Baktua is striking a menacing pose. So it's... It is a human statue. Well, it looks like a human, but it's not actually a human. It's just... It's a god. Or a goddess. So... It's it's legit. It's legit art. Mm-hmm. But it shows a god, which means I can't get rid of it. Also, I might need another storage stockpile. I think. Because I think that one might be full. Gods looking like humans? Hey, the dwarf designed it that way. Ugh. I right, I uh, uh, left clicked. And uh, not left click, right clicked. That's the word. Goodness. That's not allowed. Well, that's what they did. So here we are. Uh, custom. Yes. 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 Yep. Yep. You said the clowns for sure. I have never actually opened the circus yet. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Have we... No. I was gonna say, like, have we maybe cleaned up any of the caves by then? No, no, we... So 100% haven't. It's fun. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I'm pretty sure our military doesn't even have full steel um, equipment yet. Eh, getting there. Getting there. Ah, yeah, see, Bamboo is is almost outfitted completely. So we're getting there. All right, now you're apparently watching an herbalism. Oh, hey, trade caravan. Nice. It's like watching paint dry. It is, yes, a little bit. It is. Hi Zios, good to see ya. Isn't it prepared food? Isn't it normally prepared food bins? We have a lot of meat. Maybe I'll just do meat. Back to work lurk. Uh, work and lurk. Sounds good Zios, thanks for hanging out. Oh no, no, we are cooking. We are cooking. Definitely. We are totally cooking. Somewhere there should be the prepared food barrel. We need to probably be prepare more. Prepare more. 
But I am tartly cooking. Mm. There we go. They probably don't have anything that I want anyways. No, no, no. We should have... Oh, God. Where is it? Yeah, we probably want more though. 30 is probably not enough. Or rather, we should have more um, kitchens. They only have two. And I probably need to put some people now on dedicated cooking. Because right now we don't have any really on dedicated cooking. So we're gonna make one. That's for cooking. Uh, where is it? Cooking. We're gonna name it. Cooking. There we go. Both of these. Yeah, but then you don't do anything else. And then maybe you as well. No, you're already on something else. That one. And then an expert cook as well. And Gold Claw is an expert cook. Alright, cool. There we go. We'll get some more. And that should be sufficient. Maybe increase the numbers a little bit. Let's do like a hundred. Mm, there it is. And then we'll do 69 for the lulls, because why not? <laughs> All right, how much water is there now? I know how much water there is. There's enough water for you to have to go to the bathroom again. I want to do that real quick, because we've got ads running. I'm gonna let this... Am I gonna let this run? I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna quickly pop to the bathroom. I was gonna let this run. You can watch the water arise. And uh, it'll... If there's a forgotten beast or a seizure or something, it's gonna pop. Pause anyways. Be right back.
<laughs> nice. Nice. Also, hi, Zero Brit. Thanks for the raid. Hello. <laughs> hey, hello, Rock Jitsu. Hi. This is fine. Yeah. Zero, thank you so much for the raid. Zero, I came with a forgotten beast. It's your fault. Sorry. All right, school. See you later. I just quickly had to go to the bathroom. Thank you all so much for coming over. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, uh, Raiders. And apparently, we have a forgotten beast. The forgotten beast, Ramkala Sesmethi, Sesmethi B, sorry, has come. A towering blob composed of salt. It has wings and undulates rhythmically. All right. Let's see. Okay, there you are. 505 years old. It is tough and strong. It can't see. It's incredibly tough, very strong, and agile. Ooh. I don't like that. But salt should be doable, right? Should be doable if it's made out of salt, maybe? Ramkal Murky Whispered. All right. What does that word mean? What? Wh which word? Walk the void. Sneeze on it. <laughs> and oh, undulating. The one describing the wings. Uh, rhythmically under undulating. It's like. Pulsating, almost moving with the rhythm, like it's pulsating with a certain, certain, a certain rhythm to it. Literally, would be moving like a wave. Yeah. All right. Where the heck is our military? There is our military. Oh, you want to run away? Okay, come on military dwarfs, get in there. All right, let's see. Okay, we are on uh, frame by frame again. So we can see what's going on. I don't want to follow it anymore, stop it. All right, sorry, here we go. Stressed. Still healthy. Still, in, it is in conflict though. Are you also going to fight? Maybe. Uh, what are you bleeding here? A pile of salt. It's literally falling apart into a pile of salt. That's hilarious. Oh, we've already chopped off its right wing, and generated a pile of salt. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, what, what for? Ooh, no, that's your right wing again. It just flew further. All right. Dressed, healthy. Okay, healthy. Ability to fly lost. Its right wing is gone. That's the only thing we've done so far. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like, oh. I was like, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because it seems like this fight's gonna take a while. Wait, actually, never mind. Uh, this is Ramkal's salt. It is spattered with uh, forgotten beast blood. It is spattered with okay, yeah, it's spattered with their own blood. Not really. Yeah, turns out, st turns out, salt, not the best. I think actually the one made out of vomit lasted longer than the one made out of salt. Yeah. What was your name again? Ramkal. We engrave memorial slaps for all of the beasts that we slay. I'm just doing that right now. It is 9,999 pounds of salt. Yep. Yep. I think we found the lol player. Or the Twitch beast. Yep, yep, indeed. 
All right, so we're... We have moved our stuff. All right, breaker requested. That's true, yeah. LOL or, or Twitch chat. Like, either works. Either works. I think at this point. Hey, free salt! <laughs> Welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, how's the broker arrived? Yes, cool. What did you bring me? Pudding stone block. What the heck is pudding stone? And also, does it taste like pudding? I'm gonna buy your instruments, because why not? They're not really bringing like the really interesting stuff with them, I have to admit. Oh, they brought a menacing silver spike. Oh no. No, I'm really afraid. Yeah, it's not really cool stuff. Haven't really, not really bringing like the really cool things here. Just saying, you know. Alright, okay. That was that. Putting stones amazing. It looks cool. Mm. I see, I see, I see. Oh, in reality? Really? Ooh, let's see. What does it look like? Uh, pudding stone. No. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I may have accidentally not typed pudding stone, but used the letter to the left of the D on the keyboard. I'm glad I searched that off stream. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a silica submitted conglomerate composed of rounded flint pebbles and cobbles. So that's why it's so it's it's just basically like lots and lots of flint and everything else all smooshed together, suspended in like a, a silicate. That that does look that looks really really cool. That is that does look cool, yeah. No, I said, no, the, the letter to the left of the D. That is really nice, yeah. Not to the right of the D. <laughs> okay, I think this is enough now to get started on um, draining this once, getting it down below, and then filling it, uh, pull, um, filling it up again. You don't judge? Accidentally, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll list this onion. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, yep. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, that, definitely that. Flow, water, flow! Is that not enough? Oh, there it is. There it goes. Okay, cool. Yay! I was close to a waterfall. I'm very content. Yes. Well, it is a it is a it is a shower and a and a misty thingy. It generates some mist. It does spill some water further out though. But that's okay. I would also say that that counts for a party, but uh, yeah. Okay, this is up. So the thing is, this is not yet enough water. We're just draining this a little bit to get some down down here, because I need to fill this to at least level three later on. It is going though. Yeah, it's not perfect because this is not enough water, but it's going. And for now, this is okay. 
Because we need to have two f two fills basically. Where to do its thing really properly. I was close to a waterfall. I'm so relieved. Wade, did you pee down the waterfall? Did you pee down the waterfall? Is that what you did? They totally peed down the waterfall, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they did. Totally. Aren't the greatest for that? No. No, they're not. Oh, there's a four here already. Nice. Very good. They do like the size of waterfall. Yeah, they do. It's a closed circuit. That's what the musty scent is. Yeah. Hey, convoy. Two hour warning on Steam sale. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm very content. Oh, everybody just got me so happy. Happy, happy, happy. Very good. I really hope this works. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're lucky, Enoch. Somehow it's, it's mostly working out with their mood. Mostly. To be fair, there's not much fighting going on because we are, we are the, we squirreled ourselves away on an island. So it's been, it's been, been relatively quiet relatively today has been all about forgotten beasts uh tuesday when we played it was all about were creatures we had we've had four were creatures four separate were creature attacks already in this today we had three forgotten beasts one made out of um vomit <laughs> one made out of flames and one made out of salt so far because uh, that's, that's how that goes, right? <laughs> it does spread a lot, yeah. Uh, well, it did, the, 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 um, the, 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 no, the wiki article did say it spreads like miasma. Yeah. Wow, you're in the middle of a water uh, of a mist, uh, in, in, in the middle of the mist, and you didn't even care. Relief being, yeah, that is holy moly. That is powerful. That is powerful. We need to get the the three people that are really unhappy next to this sausage otter. Acquire an object. Be fight. Be with family. Martial training. Well. All right, a laugh. If you want to be martial training, yeah, that's a different a laugh. Darn it. Um, I can put you into the army. That is not a problem. Wait, we have several a laughs. Dang it. <laughs> Which one is it? Sausage otter. The laugh sausage otter. Got it. Uh, where are you though? Where the heck? We have too many people. I this needs to be searchable, honestly. Da -da 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 -da, I can't see you. Where are you? You yeah, drop that on a statue and you get missed. Yep, yep. Yeah, technically anywhere, but with a statue, it's better because it doesn't hit the, it doesn't hit the uh, the dwarves directly. Is it, you don't want them to get wet like so you don't want them to get hit with the water directly because um splashing water directly on top of a dwarf even if it's not a full cube tile whatever of water it still counts as 
a full cube of water aka they get the drowning status so you don't want to do that uh because then they they stop whatever task they're doing and they they get upset because they're like well so i started drowning <laughs> that's pretty uncool Uh, hey, Mizuthiel. Uh, Cats and such can even die by the water pressure splash. Really? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I did not do that. I didn't, I didn't do that? What? I didn't do that, but I also didn't know that. Interesting. Interesting. We found a forcefully shower your dwarf story. You can do that. Technically, with mist generators, you can make, like, a bath. I don't actually know. I don't think the ones that come that are down here are covered in... Hi. Mm -hmm. In plum wine. So we can't really... Check. Because... So our surface is full of plum wine. Which is all this dark blue liquid. So we get them covered in, dwarf, uh, in plum wine and whatnot. But I think they hit the, the well first to clean themselves before they go downstairs. Mm. Hello. Because we have... Uh, this is the other thing. Because we have this well here. That's, how we, that's why we tap the aquifer first over there. To generate a well and a well reservoir. Which, by the way, is taking forever to get emptied. Which is good, so yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, and then here, stuff is just... That just looked like one fell down, but I think it's okay. Yeah, and I don't think this is yet enough water for it to cool, like, to be build as flowing, unfortunately. So this might not work out because this might not actually be built as a flowing water. So we'll have to see about that. I wonder if that's because this is not this is this is too narrow. Okay, this is mostly twos and threes down here now. So that won't evaporate, the threes at least. It's really odd how it goes back and forth like that. Because ideally we want this to be just automated. Yeah, I think I think the water is now low enough up here that we need to stop it again for a while and let the actual aquifer fill up. But in theory it's gonna work. So that's good. We just need this to fill up more and then we need to we need to release so much water that this gets built as flowing so it uses uh, it, it moves the water wheel, which it currently does not. So right now this is not enough water so this might not work so we'll have to kind of wait and see but hey chat didn't flood the fortress I think I deserve a clap clap for that. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't fl uh, flood the fortress there. GG me. Thank you, Cucumber. We'll see when there's 4 by 7 uh, flowing under the wheel. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 going to need more water than that. Exactly. Exactly. So we're going to let this, uh, the, the bit at the top fill up fully. And then we'll see how it goes. I mean, to be fair, I haven't played around with magma yet. 
Haven't played around with magma yet. So there, there, as you say, there are actually plenty of opportunities. Correct, yes. Aw, thanks, this is Onion. Appreciate it. More fun. Yep, yep. There's more fun waiting for us. That is true. Hmm. Which guy did I use to make the mist? Um, none? Well, sort of, hmm. So, I knew about mist generators in general. I generally knew the gist of it. I just didn't know the details, like how deep does the water need to be for water wheels to work and that sort of stuff. So, I used, I used chat, other streamers, and then I read up on the wiki just in general a little bit. Um, about, like, um, that's where I learned the whole, if it's a 7-7 seven, seven stack water, it counts as drowning when it splashes down, so that's where I learned that. So a little bit of, yeah, a little mix of both, and then the whole, the whole trying to make it like a generator thing, like, a, like a, an automated generator was kind of, well, me asking chat if that's possible. And uh, going go from there, basically. <laughs> so, so a little bit of uh, a little bit of a lot of sources. <laughs> also, this has not yet been proven to actually work, right? So there's that. I haven't actually made it work yet. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, the one below here, this one should be okay. It's mostly above two. It's sort of going back and forth. This one is, yeah, this one is just bound to dry up. Gotta wait until we see force here again and then open up again a little bit. It's gonna take a while to fill it up. Yeah, there, there, there will probably some, there will be some evaporation down here for sure. The merchants are leaving, that's fine. Why the heck is our mayor hunting? Why are you hunting? Because apparently that is actually your job. Welp. I see. GG me then, I guess. Alright, short. <laughs> I see how it is. I see how it is. All right, let's do. Oh, we only have enough for one. Darn it! We actually get five things that really might be pushing. Begin to push the wheel. Yeah, it depends. It depends. I think I just need... Basically what I need is just... I think I just ideally need this to be seven. Like completely full like this. And then open it and it just goes... Whoosh. Right? The return pipe can totally be one tile wide. Oh, down at the bottom. Yeah, true. I could have totally made that smaller. Yeah. True. I went and made this one smaller. Should have also done the bottom smaller. Could have done that. Didn't do it. Didn't think of it. Could have done so though, yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Totally didn't do it though. Oh god. Uh, one of the military dwarves 
just having fun with their backpack again. Numpties. So annoying that backpacks are bad because they just throw food on the floor and then it starts rotting. Ugh. You like big bottoms and you cannot lie. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's why it keeps happening. Because, uh, so military dwarves will grab a backpack and they'll put food in it. And drink. And then when they're off duty, they'll drop the backpack in their, in their, uh, bedrooms. No, they'll drop the food from the backpacks in the bedrooms. And they put the backpacks, I think, in the barracks again or something like that. It's like something crazy like that. And then you have this happening. Yeah. Ooh, a mood. Miasma is so good. Mm-hmm. Certainly. It's certainly owned by them since it was in their backpack. Yeah. It's just weird that they don't put it in the chest. I guess because food doesn't go in the chest. Yeah, I guess that's why. So you would need a food barrel in there. Uh, vampire? Question mark. The glass maker has been possessed. They've claimed the glass furnace. Neat blocks, bricks, rough color, stone rock, tree life, blocks, bricks. Uh, rough color is gems, right? Sorry, we need to go get some more gemmy gems, I think. Because we've actually... Um, kinda just turned all of them into, uh, cut gems. Oh, that one's not what I wanted, but okay. I guess I could go. Technically, I could just go down here. And grab some stuff here. That is enough. They can get what they need out of that. Ooh, we're gonna put down the slab that we engraved for the forgotten beast. So it's not forgotten. Do you remember what my stance in the first men was? Um, the idea is interesting, but. I found the whole process of the... Um, no, it's not even the process of how they acquire new knowledge, but the constant assigning of the skill points, like... Tedious AF. Because they were constantly leveling up and you had constantly assign them. And sometimes they would just learn about things that you really didn't need and all the things that you needed, they didn't learn about. So, in the end, not for me. Uh, There's a finely crafted jet memorial to Ramkal. The slab reads, in memory of Ramkal, went missing in the year 265, Slayer of the Dwarf, Besmar, Plains Ochre. I love how it, they all say went missing, because for some reason they just all go missing. Free life, yeah. A leather skin, yep, we got that. Raw green. Shoot, raw green is raw glass, right? Uh, 
Oh, that's the kiln. Do I only have one glass furnace? No, I do not. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, I don't know. The first man is a cool idea, but I don't think it's for me. I just found it so tedious. But why do you ask? I know it's come out recently. Uh, Falloin was playing it again. And I feel like he had the same struggles as I had. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see, gotcha. Hey, Tremble Baron, how do the stairs work? So, so the thing is, what you have to remember... Oh, sorry, wait one second, there we go. Um, in Dwarf Fortress, going up or down a level via stairs takes the exact same time as moving left or, left or right or up, you know, or north south on on like a level so right like so basically going going from here to there takes the same amount of time from going to there from there to there so that's basically just the idea it's just much faster for them to go straight down than like so that's why i have these extra staircase regardless of stair heights um not stair height so it's one z level so going up or down one z level takes the same amount of time as moving in the x or in the y direction so it needs to like one level is as quickly as going from this tile to this tile for example so uh yeah that's why that's why i have them like below it because it's faster so going from here down and then to this stockpile directly it's faster than going from here to like over there. So this is not an ideal stockpile at all over here. That's just extra. Yeah. Can you show my FPS for the fort? Um. What was that again? Let's see. Is it in video? No, it's not. Uh, oh yeah. No, that's FPS cap. So I have capped it to 50. Where was that again? Oh, show frames per second, yes. Ah, 40-ish. 30-ish? 29-ish? I don't know. Wait. 26, I guess? 27. Yeah, we're at 25 by now. But honestly, I feel this is actually a good speed. So yeah, 25. Ish. Sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how complicated the things are that I have to do. Or that they have to do. So it's not too bad. I'd say. Um, it's gonna get worse. I've lost it again. Jeez. Um... Yeah, this is this is the layout is not ideal for um, to come to save FPS. What's for food? I don't know. I don't know what's for food is today. Like for FPS, moving diagonally is actually worse than going straight up or down. But um, we're going for looks, not efficiency. So yeah, all good. I think that magma stuff is overrated. I haven't even used magma. I'm a new player. There's so much that I'm still learning, so I haven't even used magma yet. So I don't think so. And people can play however they want to, right? Some people. Volcano is definitely a thing that everybody will do at some point in time. I would say, um, because it's fun. But I don't think it's like 
necessary because you can technically like pump up magma just with a pump stack style over sustenance substance yeah sometimes but definitely in this one for sure i don't know i'm really enjoying the designing thing also it doesn't seem like the water here is evaporating which is nice having magma is also a volcano not required yeah i'm i'm definitely thinking considering how much i'm struggling with keeping up with charcoal and coke production i'm definitely thinking about um like once we actually find magma because i haven't found my magma tubes yet to um definitely move my things down there okay you are grabbing your stuff now cool 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 cool, cool. yeah <clears throat> that's because i didn't cavern three so you just hope for a cool magma tube yeah can you put laser shag in the magma no that doesn't that doesn't work used to rush but not so much these days i mean i got lucky with my caves like my caves are like super secure like look at this i could totally like wall this off without act ever being breachable at all like i could totally wall this off i just haven't because uh for some reason, our cave spiders are like ridiculously prolific, and the entire cabin floor over here is just covered in, in, in silk. It's just everywhere. Not silk, um, but you know, spider silk web. So we're just, it's crazy. Have I gathered all the shiny gem obsidian things in this cave yet? I have not. No. No. I have not opened up to fun yet, Rukjitsu. Nope. <laughs> no. I haven't I haven't ever de dealt with the the fun down there then. I haven't done that yet. I have a l I've heard a lot of things. I've not seen anything yet. Uh, I've just heard a lot of things and I haven't I haven't yet dabbled with that yet. Let's say it that way. I think the kids are less dangerous than the fun time versions. Mmm. Okay. Okay, you're off to gather some wood. Nice. Well, so far so good then. Oh, we have some more. Hmm. Why are you angry? Why are you angry? Be with family. Well, I, I hate that so much. Oh, you have, you do have a wife. Oof. So you really want to be with a wife and you can't because she's not here. Eh. That's a, that's a bummer. We might have to kick you out. Dwarven child, dwarven child. Be with family. Yeah, you also... Yeah, oh, no, wait, that's, that's you. You there. Quiet object, fight, be extravagant, be with family, martial training. Well, you'll have martial training sooner or later. Right? Let's see. Yeah, you are on monthly uh, orders. Okay. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Not for me. Oh, look at that. Cool. Stuff's coming in. Very nice. All right, we're finally getting our steel armor. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't I don't actually mind it though to be quite honest. Like I actually prefer it to be a bit slower like this. Heck in fights I usually pause and do frame by frame. We can also be providing nicer rooms and facilities. Yeah. I mean I could <laughs> Once we're done engraving down here, I guess we could engrave all the bedrooms if we wanted to. We can do that. Do you like text frame by frame? Well, you don't have to. That's the cool thing. The game just does it for you. As Mulal Tol Merseth Doth. All right, sure. Yep. 
that's an FPS boost? Yeah, apparently it is. Well, that's okay. This this works. Should we let more water through, chat? Well, these are mostly fours now, so yes, actually. Pull the lever, Kronk! Do it. Oh, there's already some fives around here. Nice. Something to do with reducing the load and how the game paths the dwarves. Interesting. Hey, Crystal Golem. No, correct leather, actually. Definitely faster now, so that's good. Also, for the person who said, if I make this 777 stack water, down here i'll flop my tavern no i won't because there's two levels in between so there's the tavern then there is just a gap and then there's the floor so we should be okay yeah it won't flood the tavern it might flood this but it won't flood the tavern <laughs> tavern is fine So not flowing as fast as I was hoping it was going. Oh, oh, it's just a um, uh, vampire question mark has created. They're not actually a vampire. That's just somebody's uh, name that they entered. Has created as a Mulotol Mercestos, a green glass earring. She claims it's a family heirloom. Yay, mists! Oh, you're not actually seeing the mist. You see it now? Well, you moved your butt, so no. Darn it. I'm a very, very important person. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Yeah, I don't think this is. Yeah, this is not working yet. This might not work. Because this might just not qualify as flowing water. I wonder, can you like... Could I just pump this manually as well? I suppose I could technically do that. To generate a little bit more flow, but I don't think it would make that, would it? Uh, it does, still doesn't count as, as flow because this is already... But we can, we can, we can do that later. We can do that later to like have everybody pump manually. And then we can just, we can see if that, that actually starts up that. Um, all right, let's see. We need to stop again. And now we'll, that's going to be the last time then. Now we're going to let it fill up fully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not enough uh, water yet. Will it say... Will it say when there's enough? I was very close to the mist, but not actually in it. I'm disappointed. My life is in shambles. My life sucks. I need more. I'm dejected. Oh. Fire objects. Yeah. Let's make... What kind of crafts will we make? We need to make nicer things. Let's make gold crafts. Why not? Like 50 times. Then people can grab nice things. Will it though? Or will it only say that if the water is actually flowing? Because I don't think the water's flowing. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. We'll le we're learning. Yeah. Uh, you have a quest to kill otters in WoW right now? That's okay. That's okay. 
I'll just ban you later after the stream, roll it. <laughs> mm hmm. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Or something like that. There are, you also are really the by over reproducing, so you're technically helping. Mm hmm. I see. I see how it is. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hartley. Sounds like a legit. La, 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 la. Sounds like a legit reason. Mm hmm. No problem. Right, yeah, we just gotta let this fill up now. Cool. Um, chat. Chat. So I need to go to the bathroom again. But it's also almost time for me to end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Celia's sub notification go through. That's gonna take a little bit. HTTPS. <laughs> imgur.com slash td 98 nsp mm -hmm. mp 4 oh no it got a boob alarm fks 3 fkss poopy fkss poopy fkss poopy indeed so yeah thank you so much for 46 months that's incredible that's almost four heckin years of support that's incredible thank you so much for keeping up your sub for that long I really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. That is incredibly Aww, generous honk. of you. Thank you so, so, so much. Really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you. Um. Mana, mana. Do, do, oh boy, do, now you're having fun. Hi, mana, Rico. Mana. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Indeed. <laughs> There is no choo-choo chat. No, 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 no. No choo-choo. Good -choo. morning, everybody, and welcome to the cult. P.S. It's my birthday. Yay, me! No. Also not that. Also not that. Did I say it's my birthday? It's not my birthday. Don't listen. Don't listen to chat. Don't, don't uh, listen to chat all incorrect they're just lying silly butts no but yeah i really need to go to the ba bathroom <laughs> like i really need to go to the bathroom so uh, i'm gonna call it here for the day thanks so much for understanding because I've, I've really 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 got to go uh, it's my birthday. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. It's just a Thursday. Just don't listen to chat when they say it's my birthday. That's never correct. Uh, thank you.